We're good. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. <clears throat> We'll keep it low key. I was thinking dumb intros, but right. let's get ready for Rumble! <laughs> Glad you kept it casual. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to. I heard you had a big day on Rumble, it sounded like. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, if you believe it's conspiracy, it's, those are. <laughs> I don't want. I saw a lot of men of the fans. It's very nice. They were tweeting how happy they were. We got like whatever, 50,000 views yeah, on Rumble. Yeah, 55. Let me be very clear about this. We'll have about 4,000 today. Uh, my theory is that we were the very first thing. On Barstool and Rumble. I have a different theory, but okay. due to the partnership, I won't reveal what that is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right, maybe. I don't, but but we were the, like, they were highlighting Barstool. We were the only thing that was live on Barstool at the time. Okay. So I think it was just people that looking. That makes sense, pushing it out. I would say people, the average yeah. viewer will probably watch for six seconds, and we're like, I don't know what this is. I'm never watching it again. If, it, <laughs> if a couple people stuck, stuck around, good morning. You know, we're happy to uh, uh, continue our fine partnership with the folks at Rumble. I don't know. What's going? It's Dave did something today with them. I saw. I don't know uh, what the future is, but hello at Rumble and YouTube and all the other fine uh, ways you can watch, consume, and listen to the program. Yes. Uh, uh, President Trump uh, will be winning in New Hampshire tonight. He'll be joining us tomorrow live on Rumble, which I'm looking forward. Damn to. Damn straight. Yeah, uh, with uh, Steve from Gloucester, Mike Mansky, and uh, Meadow Ag Soprano and Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Another Wednesday. That's for a great fight. You I can leave the good, room for that's that. That's a good lineup. That's, that's a, a good, good lineup. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that's bad. So yeah, I I, I don't. What, what's your theory? Um, I, a lot of the view counts I see on there, like the like so Stephen Crowder for example is the one I always use mm -hmm. has like hundreds of thousands of people watching him live, right? Which to me seems like he would be more part of the, the zeitgeist, like the dialogue in the nation. Sure, if that many people were watching him live, right? Because then that means like millions of people are watching him. Probably the day. so. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 don't know. I, I legitimately because I looked at the other bars numbers and they kind of were. I kind of figured it would be today. So I think it was. We it might also first. be like Twitter where it's a view of you scroll by it, that sort of thing. I guess. You maybe. I, yeah, maybe just pop I, in. I have, I have no idea, but that's how people are like, this is the culmination of five years of a great job. I'm like, that, that, that's that, also possible. That's you were not, meant for Rumble. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the first day everyone Rumble ran was like, oh my God, what is this show? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, and like, you know, we get that many numbers on like downloads for the podcast, but like, you know, on YouTube, we have 10,000, 12,000, 8,000, 14,000, 9,000, whatever. Like, it, not all of a sudden, five, 10 times, we're like, Wow, what is this? I think it Rumble's been waiting out. for a show that would bust this Viagra company wide open. Let's do it. I'm <laughs> yeah. here. Any updates on that, uh, Justin? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I, I, I look, oh, yeah. I look, well, no updates Like for my order personally. It's still waiting to ship. But um, I looked into, someone sent me their better, uh, oh, God, I can never pronounce this, Better Business Bureau. Better Business Bureau, yep. Uh, like their rating and all their reviews, and it's just like loaded with just spam, <laughs> spam reviews. Huh. Mm. It's very surprising. It, it goes, is surprising. <laughs> we got the lyrics for this, right? It's friends, 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 friends. friends. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And they, somebody reached out to the actual artist, right? Yeah, it was uh, uh, People's Republic of Coleman. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Maybe we'll get that artist on at some point. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Pills uh, are a pl placebo. Don't work at all. Took the highest dose and nothing. Oh. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's we'll not credited. I saw by the BBB, correct? No, it goes. It's you can tell there's fake reviews because at the the. The start of the reviews, it's all like one star, one star. And then around October 29th and October 30th of 2023, uh, there's just a bunch of five star reviews that just say like, I'm still Great hard. experience with a pill that actually works very well. Fast shipment and fair price and awesome product. I wish I knew about this product before, and I'm going to let my friends know about this. Who would write about that? Any guy who has a, a like a jackal, doesn't want to do anything after. You oh, think the guy, you think the guy like, no. sat there and cum all over himself and wrote this thing? Or, a lot like, of people day, are probably. very excited to tell you about how their uh, Viagra experience. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure I'm buying it. <laughs> my cock used to be limp. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> now it's red as rain. Excellent, re reliable. Take it with water and do not eat before, and it gives excellent results. <laughs> it's like the, no go. one, no one writes reviews. Wow, who wrote like that? that? Gee, okay. uh, that was Daniel. <laughs> No, I meant. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I hope you had a good experience. I haven't read this Yelp review of that yet. My cock is still soft. Oh. And then uh, their their address is just like a WeWork office in Miami. Oh. So like anyone can just rent an office space there sure. for five hundred bucks a month. So you're not going to investigate this fully. You're not going to go down there and because what happens? What happens if you get these pills and they don't work? Yeah, you got a you got a young lady there, a very young lady there, and you know. She slips off her diaper, and you guys oh, are ready Jesus to go. Christ. <laughs> what? 
And you, <laughs> Under <laughs> ruse, at least, I'm sure. Shut <laughs> no, up. No, that's, that's a sad day in Justin's life. Well, the idea of me having sex with underage employees. Like, yeah. <laughs> employees. <laughs> is that what you call them? No. But let's say it doesn't work. Are you gonna are you gonna protest this? Just... Uh, sixty day money back guarantee. That oh, uh, you'll get that. Yeah. According to these reviews, <laughs> uh, I'm getting charged a oh, lot good. more than fifteen dollars. I know. I know. Fifteen dollars a day. There's I think. nothing new here. But like, how is this happening? Like, how does America? Like, I don't know. Like, how is this a reputable? Not reputable. But how is people in prison? There is something to Coleman's question of like, why is this on Comedy Central? Well, they, they'll just take whatever. I mean, also, they, if they, you they, look, they need money at one o'clock at night, I like, guess. They, 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 like I said, if you think it's advertising, but, but I'm saying it's, it, you would think there'd be some sort of like FCC this regulation. Is, this is the time of night when they used to run these girls gone wild infomercials. Yeah, so but you get saying. what you're getting there. They're advertising tits. You're getting tits. I didn't find as much as I bought it, honestly. I oh, is that right? I, yeah, I, I don't I know. I just assume. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote that, because, but then I used the pills to get an erection for it, which I couldn't get. I double I'd write all these letters. <laughs> it never ended. It was, it was, it was, I can't get an erection any which way. <laughs> yeah, just, endless letters. A letter writing campaign. Me and Murchison. We were just writing all day together. Do you like Murchison like, became obsessed with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> we worked together. Justin and Murchison worked together. <laughs> I wonder if the artist of that song knows we that it's call being Bob. used. We should call Bob. We should see if he wants to get involved. Ask this is, this the... is uh, yeah. Do we still have his number, Justin? Do you have it or no? I He's about a. Uh... Do you have it, Coleman? Have we called him yet? No, no. Rain yet? Uh, let me see here. Do I have it still? You must. We've been talking weeks. We were texting about the Oscars this morning, but we haven't talked in a while. <laughs> Where's thoughts? I was upset about Barbie, uh, about Greta Gerwig not being nominated for Best Director. It makes sense. It does. Only by the goodie there. Where is it? Hmm. <laughs> Going scrolling all the way down my oldest message, and it's August 30th, 2020. Hey, Kirk, in case you haven't heard, I'll no longer be running the YouTube page. That's uh, DJK. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Can you just search Bob Murchison in your content? I did, but it's all like Steve sending me stuff like Bob Murchison laughed out of the court. Like hey, I, I, I'm as a in your, in your oh, oh yeah, I like I, oh, I, really? I, I hate him so much. I don't think I could do it. Wow, that's yeah. surprising. Bob Murchison may have lost it forever. Yeah, it's here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'll text you, Coleman. I think this is it. I think. It's not. Put you on to Justin. He's not with his penis head on my phone. <laughs> That's Chris Clemmer. Uh, he might be into this, Mike. I don't know. He's getting older too. He's single. I don't know. He's about integrity. I think he would be more focused on my angle. Is why is this on television? If it's not a, you know, yeah, he's trying to watch it's Red a Sox. Scam. He's trying to watch Red Sox. That's, That's what right. he's trying to do. People, some people watching, are like, who is Bob Murchison? I forget sometimes. It's evil man. People on Rumble. These people on Rumble. <laughs> I know the Viagra company, but sometimes he'll answer, Mike. Yeah, well, the last time he did, I believe. Yeah, we talked to him. Yeah, he claimed you. We remember he claimed he didn't remember any of the meeting that we had, which yeah. is right, mystifying to me. Because he would be good at this. You gotta say. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. That's disappointing. Mm, I don't remember his message being. I thought he used to have a voicemail. I thought it was his voicemail. Hi, this is Bob. Yeah. Right. Murchison. But that is his number. Huh. I don't know. Maybe he has two phones now. Could be. I hope he's okay. You know, gee. <laughs> we all uh, <clears throat> anyway, a um, couple of big things. You have a guest. What time's the guest joining us today? Uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Uh, big dozen trivia announcement today as well. I'm just going to say that. Wow. I'm not there. I'm not ready to announce it yet, but a big one. Okay. Capital B, 10 out of 10, big announcement. I have I like a guess. That. What's that? I said I like that. You like that? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. You have a guess, Mike. What's your guess? I don't want to spoil any. Is, You're it, not gonna is get, it obvious? You're not going to get it right. Oh, okay. Yeah. I assumed I, a switching of the a certain teammate. Uh, I, I'm not going to give that away, but I think what you're thinking is not it. Oh, okay. Can I have a guess? Uh, well, I want you to spoil it. I, I don't know what it is. Okay, never mind. Well, but, but, but you can still spoil Even though you don't know what it is, Justin, you can still spoil it by guessing it correctly. That's how it works. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is how. What, what world are we thinking? What are you thinking? Um, 1v1. 1v1. I don't know what that means. Seems like no, though. Like, it, like something you versus like Brandon? You Brandon or no. Or? no. Okay. No. Okay. No. Oh. no. I would not snow. I would not snow. Certainly not. Uh, New Hampshire primary tonight. Donald Trump, of course, who uh, 
Or was it Twilight Books? I think is going to be there. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. So yeah, he and Susan. Yeah, he and the main. They, they've all written. Yeah, everybody running for these offices. He's very this, humble about it. That's the one thing you never hear him mention. I saw a picture of Trump yesterday being interviewed, and again, the Rumble people. I'm voting for President Trump. He's been on the show. Mike, Mike knows this. Many. How many times has President Trump called the show? Uh, dozens. Oh, Thirty times. Yeah. Forty times. Hopefully, we'll call before. You know, maybe, if you see New Hampshire, you can certainly give us a call today. Just run on by. He. I saw an interview with him yesterday. He was talking about uh, Vivek. Is that his name? I don't want yeah. to miss Vivek. 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 I always yeah. get it wrong. Oh. He's saying how great he is. And he, it was a side angle. His forehead was paler than like anybody I've ever seen. The rest of his face, it was like the most orange I've ever seen his color. <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see Trump wake up in the morning, what he looks like. Wouldn't you like to watch that for 20 minutes? Like yeah. The shower, the hair, oh, yeah. the coloring, just the process. It, I don't think he'd ever It's a completely out. different color. Yeah, you see it? Yes. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> Why is he doing that? It's amazing the he way you can like somebody. Could be. I hope he's Would okay. that be when good or bad? Why am I listening? Why am I listening? Myself? If he did that one morning, would that be good for him? Uh, he would, would just never. behind the curtain? I think so. Well, I know he's very vain. He would never do it, but. Well, I think, Mike, I think he's the one person where he's not swinging anybody at this point. Like, you're either going to, like, love him or you hate him, I right. think. But this way, I, I think the, like, I always say there are these counties, that, like the county in Wisconsin for Trump and 16 that voted for Biden. Like, I think those people just care about the fucking price of gas in the home. Like, I don't think they care if Trump puts makeup. I care yeah. about that. But yeah, I, I, maybe. I don't know. I think well, he's going to win. They always talk about sw like swing, uh, you know, yeah. swing the, the undecided people. But isn't it more just like, I'm probably not going to vote. But like, if for some reason I was inspired to, I would. I you guess. Know? Yeah, I guess. So people like me. I guess. I think it's more people that w would or wouldn't vote rather than undecided. Yeah, it could be. Oh. Could be. The, uh, just the president has been calling people in New Hampshire asking them to not vote. In tomorrow's election. President Biden? <laughs> yes. Has he actually or no? Uh, well, people, apparently, like 50,000 voicemails went out of an AI Biden. Oh, really? Because uh, everyone listening to the show on Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And, and they're saying, and Biden is saying not to vote for anybody or for President, Tr President Trump? I'm confused. Next message. This coming Tuesday is the New Hampshire presidential preference primary. Republicans have been trying to push nonpartisan and Democratic voters to participate in their primary. What a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that is malarkey. So, yeah. It so, is. So, it, like, of the and, highest order. So oh. people are saying that. I, but it, oh, I, we got to talk. I'm just, I got my, I, we have to talk politics for three more minutes. So that's my, that's my, <laughs> so yeah, go ahead. I'm not exactly sure, like, what the point of the Well, I'm not exactly sure Trump's going to pick for his VP, mate. I don't know. I'm not sure about anything. That's why you call Rumble right now. 1-800-R-U-M-B-L-E. And let's hear <laughs> VP takes. Mike, who do you think the president should pick as his vice president? Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy. You do? Yeah. Okay. He's your kind of guy, huh? I think it'd be fun. Two, yeah. two nuts, you know? Yeah, sure. Two yeah. wacky guys. Yeah, sure. I think he's going to, I think he's going to pick a woman. That's what I think. I think. But I'm, is, is there any Hale? other? Is there another one? What? Is there another uh, woman? <laughs> another broad <laughs> that he would pick? Carrie, other than who? Carrie Lake. Yeah, that's why I think you might pick. She's okay. nuts. I kind of like her. You know, she's kind of cute older lady. I'd vote mm -hmm. for her. Yeah, why not? Uh, are there any other Republican voices that we need to hear from in the in the marketplace at all? Uh, there's, there's, we have, we have a whole bunch. Okay, good. So I I actually called Mike Montante yesterday just to give you how how Jesus how upset I am about how bad Jerry sounds. <laughs> so Jerry's episode was up. I know Jerry's episode was up. So I put I just wanted to put it at the very end. I was going to listen to any of it. So I listened to the last ten minutes just to hear how he sounds. The fuck is he doing? I know we said this the other day. What the fuck is he doing? What's what's why is Craig? Craig is like there's a great documentary a few years ago about the artist Glenn Campbell. You know who that is? Yeah. Rhinestone Cowboy and yeah, Wichita yeah. Lyman, great artist. Uh, and he had Alzheimer's, and his wife and his kids kept trotting him out to these concerts. You, you could still remember how to play his great song. Great song came out of that. Very sad. Yes, that's right. Yes. Uh, I feel like Craig's doing this now. I feel like Craig is like, <laughs> is like Glenn Campbell's widow. At why is point. Jerry wearing sunglasses? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, why is Craig allowed? Like, at some point, I know Craig. Craig is never going to like. Speak up to Jerry. Jer Craig would never say to Jerry, you should stop doing this, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, somebody needs to do this. this it does is... sound more like Craig's Jerry impression than Jerry. So maybe it's him doing, yeah, I mean, <laughs> doing everything. Go ahead. Where, where are we starting here? Uh, we can start with, in the beginning, he doesn't sound like too, too bad. I don't care about that. Uh, uh, it says yeah, he gets going. The last 10 minutes. He gets very into, like, for some reason, we joke around about it in the show. Now hates, like, actually hates Taylor Swift? I think so. I, I I, think what, think, why is this? I think So I didn't realize this. And maybe I've heard it. And it just didn't register. Yeah. He called Travis Kelsey Mr. Like, Pfizer. Mr. Pfizer. Yes. And yes. I was like, why is he calling him that? That's a commercial. <laughs> I guess he did a commercial. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So now he's rooting against. Jerry, by the way, got the jab, just to be very clear. But he's upset, I guess. And so now he's rooting against. I, I, go ahead. The country is pulling for the Ravens. We cannot. I, I'm sure 
I, I mean, I don't want to be an asshole, but this is like you can't. This is brutal, you can't release yeah. that. Like, I, you know, I, I don't have the greatest pipes of all time. I understand that, but like, if I sound like that, I would every day. Like, if you're sick and you suck it up for a day, we came in here and we had COVID. Like, you do it, you leave. Um, not that COVID is real, obviously. Well, sure. wait, no. How do you do? I'm on YouTube. You can too, say right? that. Sure. Yeah. How do I do both? Um, we we trust the Facts, science. Question mark? Wink. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Exactly. Um. Uh. But this is like this is a second day after two days off in between. It sounds like a bad like monster impression. It just like yeah, it just sounds like he's. <laughs> I mean, I, I I like I said, we're not friends anymore. But I have like I do have sympathy for him sounding like this. This is nuts. Sources have told me that this is so much better than what he sounded like two months ago. What else did Craig say? <laughs> or Montante? Which one? Uh, they said like he could barely like. Yeah. Like nothing would come out. Well, there were times. So Jerry I would have preferred that show. Me too. <laughs> oh, believe me, I would have too. Jerry had times. I said this in, over the years where he would take breaks for la the, our last year or two together for like a week or four or five days. And there were times in the middle, he's just like, I just can't talk. Like I can't speak. So I get that. Like his vocal cords are shot. Time so, to make our picks, Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> so it sound, at the end, he sounds like he's like it's just di like literally dying. I'm like, I don't want, you know, this is how it ends. Yeah, it's tough. Why? So he. In his mind, he needs it. You, he you, needs you know it. his psychology. He Does he feel it. like the people need their news? Yeah, nobody or he just needs to get this out. Or right wing this? take anywhere else? Yeah, nobody else is getting anywhere. That 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 you know the Republican, whatever you know that whole thing. Because that's a big talk, talking point with a lot of people on both sides. It's like we're they think they're kind of rallying the troop for right. you know for November, right? Does Jerry believe that, or does he like just I, I like just talking think, about? I just it, think or? he's like bored and like, yeah, I think he just likes to do it. Yeah, I mean, he's not. Yeah, no one's listening. Like, I don't Does know. Does he have like buddies it. that he could go to the coffee shop with? And I don't know. Shit, I, you know? I, I, yeah, cool. I have no. I think he. Th I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, we gonna leave it there. Rich on the comment line thinks Tulsi Gabbard should be the VP. I'm sorry, you can't pick no. someone who supported Bernie Sanders. I like Tulsi. She's got guts. It sounds like when you're going through a tunnel listening to like AM radio. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he gets to this, he's very into He hates uh, Taylor Swift, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 We just cannot have Taylor Swift and Jason Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes' wife at the Super Bowl. We can't. I think he means Travis it. Kelsey, right? I, I, Travis no, Kelsey's I, wife. Jason Jason Kelsey. I thought you said Jason yeah. Kelsey. Jason, Jason Kelsey and Jason Travis Kelsey. Kelsey's wife. Jason Kelsey was in the like Oh, I'm sorry, Mahomes' wife. The shirtless. Oh, I got you. Oh, I got you. Yeah. He said he liked him, though. I heard yeah. That. Yes. Okay. He likes him. Yeah, he's fun. He takes his <laughs> shirt off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, True. Thank you, Trey. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sick of the Chiefs. I love Mahomes. He's a great player. But I'm sick of Mr. Pfizer, <laughs> Travis Kelsey. I'm just sick of Andy <laughs> Reid. I'm sick of the team. That's like the old sounding person in the world. <laughs> Literally, like an old guy screaming about, like, we make fun of Taylor Swift. I, I, not a fan of her. I don't know her music. I don't know. Whatever. She's talented. I'll introduce you. I'm fine. She's had a fine career. Uh, but, like, I don't like, care. Like, it's funny. Like, it's, it, it's funny to me. People get worked up. That's what's funny. I referenced it the other night, but, uh, it, I, I've watched those, um, on a Tuesday. Day. It's appropriate to mention. Oh, yeah. I've yes, watched thank Jack you. Klugman's PSAs. He sounds like. That's exactly, yeah. it's exactly what he sounds it's like. Exactly right. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. disturbing. It's true. Yeah, he sounds older than Jack Klugman you know, <laughs> because he's because yeah. yelling about old stuff. Like, what does he fucking care if Patrick Mahomes' wife is at the Super Bowl? He does. And what's his Who issue? Cares? What's his issue with Andy Reid? He move likes you though. He loves Andy Reid. He he's just said I'm sick of Andy Reid. Oh, I thought he said, oh, oh, he loves Patrick Mahomes. Yes. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, he loves half of Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So the Chiefs move on, and Ron DeSantis does not. That a boy. That a boy. Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry seems like he would like Ron DeSantis. I oh, he loved him. He supported him. Okay, that was his guy. I was, but I was still talking to him. He was telling me how great he was because he, he, you know, Florida was open and all that. But stuff. does he change now that he's out? Like, oh, he was a pussy. No, you know? because like, he he supported Cruz too. Okay. So four years ago, whatever. No, Jesus, eight years ago now, right? Yeah, eight years yeah. ago. God, that was eight years ago. So yeah, I, I mean, I I I, don't know. I just feel bad. Like I hear them, like what the fuck? I'm, like I did the show with this guy every day. Was he like this when I did the show? He's Not big, voice wise. He's black. What was that, Jerry? He's big. He's black. <laughs> As Jerry describing every suspect where there were no eyewitnesses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sexualization dude. of children. So you're saying, okay, five, six, black, <laughs> D brown. <laughs> like was, was, question. was. Is she really brown? Was that, was he, was I doing shows? <laughs> was I doing shows then? Was he play, more playful? Yeah. Or was it funny that he wasn't playful? I, I don't remember. Anything. A little of both. Yeah. I think a little of both. Could, because he would be. He would laugh at, at your antics and right. when you guys would make fun of Mutt and Curtis. Right. He would, right. 
He just doesn't have that around him now. Like Craig's not oh, going to bust pl- his No, balls he's got plenty of comedic talent. Don't you <laughs> well, worry I, about I know. I just don't. don't you worry about that. But Craig's not going to like bust his balls. And, and oh, it I got kind of mind I got way worse than Jerry's voice is the ten minutes I heard like the Craig Wang with his political <laughs> thoughts. Like, boy, I got to tell you, America's really curious about that. Guys, you can also get that at Blind Mike. Yeah. Net. <laughs> Where Craig's like, yeah, he made some joke at the end about I don't know whatever. Uh, uh, Nikki Hale. I'm like, oh god, leave me alone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is how Jerry's career ends. Can't speak. Craig's his producer. <laughs> doing this house. No one cares. Like other than like, it's just nothing. It's sad. It's re- it is kind of heartbreaking. In a way, yeah. Because I was always a Jerry fan too from back in the day. Yeah, I mean, look. I mean, we had some. I had some great times with him. I just, it's, it's very strange. <clears throat> and I haven't heard him forever. So, you see his tweet the other day. Speaking of Taylor Swift crowd, this is why. Like, I have nothing in Taylor Swift, but her fans are idiots. Some Taylor Swift fan tweeted out like. Uh, Taylor Swift connects with like women and what they thinking. She's like, I wonder if any men have artists like that in their lives. <laughs> Did you see that tweet? <laughs> it's true. That's a good question. I think I quote tweeted Stephen Hyden, who I hope we still have booked for May. Uh, <laughs> I hope uh, Gussie's a check in. He won't do it. No. He basically was like, he's like, is this? Because I, I don't know on Twitter what's a, like. I looked her up. She doesn't appear to be. You never know if somebody's like a comedian doing this. Yeah. You know, just, but she's not. And I was like, do you? Are, are you fucking stupid? Like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, of course not. They're, w- w- name one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I'm like, I think every, most people have their person. If Taylor Swift's your person, that's, you know, it's swell. But I'm, you know, it's like, like some people like Bob Dylan or Bruce Springsteen or Prince or who, I, more obviously way more modern people. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think maybe she means more there's no one, like, there's no male artist that gets the reaction that Taylor Swift does, where there's literally that's not, people. That's, that's, like, what she, that's not the way she framed it, though. It was like she was just like connecting, the, like where Kelly Keegs is on Twitter, like did, she just sipped her wine when Joe. Oh, no, she means it. like she meant it more like you're in your house, like you get the record player, the or the, it's it's in your ears and you're listening to it, it's just you and her, that kind oh. of thing. And I'm like, yeah, that I don't get. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? Like, leave me alone. Ugh, God. Anyway, what else? What do you got? What's 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 the biggest story today, Justin? Um, uh, there was a, like a Portnoy hit piece that came out. Yeah. Yesterday. Oh, I didn't see this. Was there? Uh, yes. It was a YouTube video by. <laughs> Had like a hundred thousand views or something. Oh, really? Yes. It's so. called "What Will It Take to Destroy This Pizza Reviewer." It was on Rumble or on YouTube? <laughs> YouTube. Uh, it's well, on, it's naturally, on the other <laughs> naturally, of course, right? It has three hundred and fifty thousand uh, views so Holy far. Holy moly! Really? And it's just it just like plays the the, the hits. Arsenal Sports, of course, are not being focused on the back on the for NBA just channels. one dollar. Unbelievable. One rumble. Mike, we're already gone. We're already left us. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, 247 views right now watching it. It's weird. Is that 55,000 people watching us? Well, that's cumulatively throughout the day. Sure. You've oh, got sure. 247 now, but 280 you know, right now. Actually, a couple so. hours, you'll oh, up. That's right. consistent. Probably a million. Yeah, yeah, at that point, I would think. So this who's who did this? Um, his name is Patrick CC. Okay. Okay. Big YouTube player. He is also known for being extremely controversial, as he has been accused of just about every horrible thing you can imagine. Now, Dave put himself in these situations with his own words or actions. Frat boy jokes like, if you're a size six and you're wearing skinny jeans, you kind of deserve to be right, didn't help Wait, him Dave when said one that? of his- Wow, this is fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this asshole? He's kind of Patrick stealing the why you laughing for, man. Uh, I've honest. never heard of him before, but he's a YouTuber. He has like a million and a half subscribers. So. Wow. I will say the one thing I was very happy that he did is give proper credit to the people that really build Barstool. Oh, is that right? Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> In the 2010s, it became increasingly obvious that social media sites like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and YouTube were taking up more of our time, especially Barstool sports fans' time. They stopped printing the newspaper and fully focused on digital. The Barstool YouTube channel posted casual vlogs, highlights from their events, and even had EDP on there hosting weekly sports recaps. Who? It was the personality- Eat that uh, pussy. Mike's friend. Child molester. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. All the stars. We did go to an Eagles game. Of their creators like Big Cat, KFC, Hank, and Blind Mike. That <laughs> Mike definitely planted this. Yeah. No question. You got to check out this porn. <laughs> Rapist. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Blind Mike. That's a blatant lie. <laughs> I, I assume he just like looked up videos from that year and was like, oh, there's a lot of Blind Mike videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. What what else? Else? You're welcome, Dave. What else is going on? Um, I had this from a uh, rundown yesterday. It was Nate and Dave going at it about Nate taking over the Friday spot for yeah. uh, Barstool Radio. Uh-huh. This is so this forced by Nate. It's just forced. Another forced I, thing. I came, I don't you know thought so too? No. Well, did you see his tweet about uh, Oppenheimer? No, today? No, yesterday, I no. think. It was about uh, okay. the visual effects 
Uh, Barstool tweeted something like uh, Oppenheimer didn't get nominated for visual effects. And I don't know. Maybe Nate's trolling. That's why well, I didn't the like the nominations were today, though. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what he was responding to. Oh, maybe maybe they're doing like predictions or something. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Uh, but he was like, uh, well, three hour movie about guys sitting in a room arguing didn't have great visual effects. I was like, I, I know this is incorrect, <laughs> but maybe he's just trolling people. Hey, I don't he's know. probably just yeah. doing that. I find I, I, I like Nate, but I just find like uh, him on the radio is going to stink. But go ahead. I mean, but he's never. But uh, Dave's, the, the argument is basically. Dave's like, you've never created content on your own, which is a thousand percent. Nothing against Nate. It's not for everybody. Well, he's tried. It just hasn't worked. Yeah, he's not good at he's it. He's a weasel, though, right? Like, people get mad at him. But he's like a pussy weasel. Like, you know. When but in came... that office now, like, is there. He might be the alpha. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. What's he going to do, though? I don't know. What's he going to do on a Friday by himself? I don't know. That was That'd Nate at night. <laughs> the first week will be fine. But <laughs> just what's by that? himself. He used to do Nate at night. I'm pretty sure that was it. That was like yeah, him by himself. I, don't I, don't I find Nate to be a nice guy with a content zilch myself, but like, you know, maybe he'll do fine. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. When Dave said Barcelona Ray was a disaster, I thought he was talking about the whole concept. He meant I think just, he was. Okay, yeah, because he's right. But I mean, you put Nate in there and it's like, great, Nate on Fridays, just like talking shit. Like, what's the fourth Friday like in that office yeah. <laughs> when there's nothing going on? Like, you're just going to talk shit. And there's no yeah. one there. Yeah, you're, you're talking like what's there? What's there left to see? Have any ideas? Any thoughts? Any maybe I'll do great. Like I said, I like Nate. I hope so, but I don't. I don't see that working. I do not see that working. Why would you want to do that by your? I feel like even if you're very good at it, it's more difficult to do it by yourself than with. I, I'm sure people. he won't. Right? I would think he'll do it with somebody else. I would guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. About, I mean, I know nothing. I don't watch Barstool Radio anymore. But I, I have no idea about any of it. I have no clue. We have a. Uh, let me see here. One second. I just want to check one thing. I'm really whispering. I have fucking no idea. <laughs> I, I just need a heads up if when you see the person come okay. on screen because I can't see it. <clears throat> well, let me see here. I just want to make one text. Uh, I don't, should I announce this trivia news now or later, Mike? What do you think? I'm ready for it now. Mm. I'm ready to see. I'm looking to see how the there's, there's a lot of moving things aren't concrete, concrete yet. That's a ninety eight percent done. So I don't want to ruin it and not have it happen. Yeah, I know. When will it be done? I'd hope in the next 10, 15 minutes. I think. Oh, then uh, wait. Yeah, hold off. Yeah. 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 Okay. Commissioner's not live texting, watching along. I don't know if he. I, I'm not even sure he, he's fully aware of it. He might know what's in the air. Uh, do you think Jeff Delo has this show up on YouTube and Rumble right now in his house? <laughs> no, not Valen. <laughs> no, definitely. I'll just say this. Live also, I'll right? just say this. Uh, as I have traded myself from Team Minahan. Oh. Wow. I am no longer a part of Team Minahan. Really? I have traded. Big news. I have Big traded deep. myself. Interesting. And you don't want to say wow. who yet? Not yet. Not yet. I'm, need, I'm guessing a superpower. I, need, I, I have a guess. I well, I won't give anything away. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Can I tweet that out? Yes. Yes, you can, Justin. <laughs> and rumble it out, too. Shh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should probably tell my the guys Rico and Hank on my thread who don't know. On the, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see wow. here. So Hank will be the captain of Team Manhattan. <laughs> or uh, Rico. I have traded... Myself. They have to keep the name, right? It's, yes, they do. That's that yeah. was part of it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, Breaking news: Kirkman has traded himself off of Team Minahan. That's very funny. Forward, <laughs> boys. <laughs> I've traded myself. Good luck going forward, boys. And with that, if I leave the chat, will that text still be there or no? Yes. If you send it, yep. then leave. I have left the conversation. Wow. Three times it's been three years in this league, three time league MVP. Oh, shit. Is that what this big guest is? Uh, could be, could be, Mike, could be four, uh, leading league in scoring in this year, champion last year. And by the way, well, I could be wrong, they may still win the championship, but now it looks very unlikely that they will never another team will not repeat as champion. Well, I don't know, they get uh, it's a good trade, so I, I'm not going to say that, but uh, oh, yeah, so if this guy right here, the trophy I'm looking at to my right, is you know, I probably have to return it now. So if you win on this new team, Correct. it won't be Correct. I'll be a two-time champion. You'll be course. you'll have yes. repeated, but yes. The only deal I made with this team was I promised I would stay with them for the rest of the year. And then I am a free agent at the end of the year. Wow. Holy shit. 
Yeah, I know. Fuck! <laughs> I know. So now you're gonna, your name's huh? gonna be crossed off. Correct. On the TNN. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Which is already happened. That was inevitable. It's already that's happened before. I have left before. That's true. Uh, so there you go. Good luck going forward, fellas. Holy shit! Very cute. Justin is. Is there a? Is there a? Do you know when your next match? No, no. I have don't no know. idea. Fuck, Jesus. I don't know. The commissioner was, I think, stunned to hear this news. Is but... it a team we might be expecting? Mm, no. No. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't think so. Huh. Oh, that'd be great. You go to macro dosing. I don't think I'm going to macro dosing. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm not going to say. Okay, you've mentioned that six times, Coleman. So I'm shut up. Locked in. Uh, <laughs> so or, or say it. For God's sake, <laughs> yeah, quit teasing us. I'm telling you not to say. It. <laughs> yeah, because you probably blow it. Exactly. So, oh, fuck. what's that, Justin? This just fucking blew my mind. You fucking traded yourself <laughs> off of Team Minion. Well, I mean, that's, that's Jesus how it works. Christ. I, I, funny I about, also think. I'm sorry, Mike. I also think. No, oh, go ahead. I'm going to take a sip of water. What's funny about Justin's reaction, if I was just listening, yeah, I would think this was like a morning zoo show where just, <laughs> what? Like, clearly that's a fake reaction, right? right? <laughs> I actually think it's going to be the best thing for Hank and for the other fellow on the team. Because, it, what? Normally when you lose the number one player. No, but I think it's a chance for them, like that guy, the the, the Italian fellow there. Like, I think he wants to be the cock of the walk. The number one guy. Yeah. So I think he's going to be able to have the final answer stuff and do all that stuff. Okay. Because I think Hank... And probably the new guy is a bit of an alpha as well. Guy or girl. Guy or girl. I should say. Guy or girl. Hmm. Um, may want the final answer. I don't know. It's like the Supreme Court. I always find that odd. When the Chief Justice leaves or dies or whatever, the person who replaces the Chief Justice becomes the Chief Justice. I wow. find that very strange. That don't you? Strange. That is very strange. Yeah. You'd think it would be someone with tenure. Is yeah. it always that way? <laughs> or at least three year. It's a famous Ricky Anderson line. I have, Ricky has 20 years. <laughs> Ricky's got some underrated. You think of uh, Yogi Berra, but Ricky's got oh, some way better. Lines. Way better. Yeah. I see our guest. Uh, oh, is this trivia related or no? Hello. No. One second. Oh, she, we can't hear you. One second. Not your fault. Our dummy producers. One second. Can we hear you now. Hello. Hi. Wow. Lauren Compton, Mike, joining a, us. I had a feeling. It's about the, time, hello. Lauren. Uh, Lauren, uh, the, this is Kirk Manan, but who cares about me? It's just my show. Nobody cares about that. I know you're We're interrupting here. big news. I know, you're here. I know you're here to talk to Mike Geary. I am. Hi, Mike. What's up, Lauren? He can't see you, oh, Lauren. Goodness. Just so you know, he's blind. I know none of your <laughs> jokes have alluded to that, but the man is it cannot see. I know you've been... Is that a ableist? What is that? It's a, it's a little ableist. It yeah. feels surface level. I feel like if there's going to be something serious between us, we got to get past like the eye for an eye stuff. Sure, you know? sure. So... <laughs> She loves him. Making Mike. her laugh already. Mike, she loves him. I'm watching an OnlyFans video in front of my very eyes God right damn now. It's, it's unbelievable. It's incredible. How are you staying focused? Oh, it's, it's quite a journey indeed. So the, why, don't, why don't the two of you, I feel like Chuck Woolery on the old love connection. Why don't you guys, why don't you guys start communicating? I, I'll stay out of the way. I have to interview her now? Well, I don't know. That's no, what, no, 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 what the fuck she's doing here. bit is? Call me <laughs> Don't look down the fuck she's doing here. So, what, how did, so this started, Lauren, with a minifan... Don the Jeweler. Don the Jeweler. You, you, what was your tweet? I don't, I don't even know the origin story, really. Um, you know, someone tweeted at me. I said, I, you know, I actually have the tweet because I was wondering how this started myself. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll explain it. This is so her. Um, <laughs> Don the Jeweler tweeted at her just my name for some reason, and she responded, who's Blind Mike? Oh, and then and everybody. Then all you the... took over. Oh, I started tweeting. Oh, <laughs> yeah. right, 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 right. And right. so that's why it took off. But I, I don't know the real re I don't know why she reacted to that. Well, I think she's probably just there was. That's I sweet. was talking about something about, um, I don't know. I was trying to be philosophical. And uh, her usual, it probably didn't work. And then someone tweeted at me, well, then how do you explain blind mike's fame saying that you were oh, like right. oh rich like guys handsome. are either uh rich or handsome yeah. and so oh. that's how do you explain <laughs> blind mike? I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. due to me not knowing how to work twitter mm -hmm. uh, i didn't know that you could just reply to a comment i'm very new to twitter oh you know okay so, you're, not, you're not on twitter really okay all right uh, not really um i've been having more of it but i quote tweet to yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. i thought that's how you replied to comments gotcha gotcha so, so yeah this is a very happy accident mike <laughs> let's I'm, I'm glad we could do this when am i going to be on uh first date that's what i've been waiting for yeah mike is uh, basically begging to go on this yeah. show which is i guess a huge show i know nothing about anything so it's a huge show but mike wants to go on there is this is this an invitation lauren or are you not interested in having a big star like buying mike on first date <laughs> where do you live mike boston area boston okay well we film in austin 
I'll so be right down. we would have to figure out when you would be just here. Just say no. Don't do this thing where you're like, oh, we'll have to figure it no, out. You, you could just say no. You too. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm so sick of you two. But I'm not like saying this. no. <laughs> All right, I'll make my way to Austin. Could, I guess we could have a meeting later. Right. I mean, Mike, I, Mike, Michael Pay, believe Michael Pay is on way. Don't worry about that. He'll, he'll, he'll schlep down to Austin and do this. Always thing. have. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's not, that's, so what, what is, I don't even, so what, what's the name of the show? First Date? Yes. Is it, exact, is, it, is it exactly what I think it is or no? What is it? Is what? Is it exactly what I think it is? Is it like talking about your first dates or what is it? No, I interview people and I, I find, find out, out what it's like to date, date them. Oh. Oh, well, you're in for, oh, a, real, oh, God. You're in for a real treat, oh, sweetheart. Jesus. <laughs> God, is what awful. is your status, Mike? Are you dating someone? Don't worry about that. I'm in kind of a really, it's sort of a, we, we're not really sure what we Don't are, you know? Don't worry. It's sort of an, it's complicated no. thing. Yeah. Mike is, Mike is in a long-term relationship eh. with his Albanian girlfriend, actually named Alba. Very uh, cute. Is that her name? I don't remember. Very cute. Size 14 shoe, but a very <laughs> nice, very wow. nice Albanian woman who he should settle down and marry because. Uh, still got a lot of oats to be sowed. That's true. That's true. <laughs> This is, but this, you've, you've got life with dating Mike right now. Everything's a punchline. You cannot, Lauren, maybe, maybe you, I've been spending four, he's been my sidekick for four years, trying to find the inner Mike Geary. Maybe you could do oh, it because that... all there are are punchlines and he's defensive about being blind. Maybe you can dig into it with your feminine ways, yeah. you know? If you dig too maybe far, I just start weeping. But... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, and we saw, so uh, obviously once in our world, our audience is like 98% men. So once you started getting involved, of course, all the perverts got excited. And they oh, alert my audience is 98% men too. They're probably right. They all alerted us that you were on OnlyFans, but then you got off OnlyFans. Is that like a business decision? Is that a moral decision? Is that a. <laughs> uh, well, I'm actually in a relationship as well. Uh, and uh, um, Mike's crying. <laughs> I think it's just more respectful when you're in like something really serious to yeah. not be on OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, yeah. what were you What were you offering on OnlyFans? Because it was free, right? Yeah. So uh, I'm. I've been on the cover of Playboy, and I have like a very extensive Playboy past. Oh, okay. And I don't know how much you guys know about Playboy, but they didn't pay shit. I heard about and this. Yes. So my entire career, I think I'd make like five hundred bucks for like six photo shoots. So anyway, the long winded story with that is that when OnlyFans launched, a couple Playmate friends of mine got on it and they were like, dude, we're like finally making the money that we should have been making with Playboy. And all I ever offered was the, it was like my own Playboy magazine. So I would offer uh, photo shoots and then like behind the scenes, excuse me, videos. Um, but I never did anything like webcam or pornographic or anything okay. like that. Uh, it was basically are. just like an online Playboy magazine all about me. Oh, okay. Um, and I did it for two years and it was really fun and I made great money. But then, uh, I don't know. I don't need it. First, I don't need it anymore. And second, I don't think it's very respectful when you're in a serious relationship. Oh, it's disappointing. Mike, Mike likes those peeing videos. That's so disappointing. <laughs> right, kind of. well, that, that, well, anyway. So, all right, so you two, so, so just, you know, just to, for the record, Mike is welcome to join first date. Yeah, of course. Wow. wow. <laughs> that was a very, wow. Yeah. She just, yeah. by the way, she just, I've never he, been Mike, on a blind date before. You Mike, you're the one saying you no. Go. If you don't want to come on my show, just say it. I'd be happy to. We'll figure it out. I only follow <laughs> one person on Twitter, but uh, I will follow you. And if you follow me back, we could uh, figure that out. Mike, do you go on dates often? Uh, not in. Ooh, I like this. Not, so, yeah, give me a little. Give me, a, Lauren, if you would, give me a couple minutes of, of first date with Mike Geary. Right? Yeah, I would love to. Let me hear. Like, how? When is the last time you went on a date? Uh, five years ago, I guess, with my current girlfriend. Okay. We met uh, on uh, Bumble. Where'd you meet? Bumble, like one of the dating apps. Oh. It's a blind and, dating app. Yeah, it's for women looking for blind men. <laughs> and <laughs> can you? I mean, how? I don't know anything about your blindness. How blind yeah. were you five years ago? So it's gotten a lot worse over the last five years. So now it would be really bad. But I used to like pretend I wouldn't acknowledge that I was blind at all and kind of pretend that I wasn't, which probably was a bad move because people would just think I was like deranged. Why would you or... do that? This is magic right here. <laughs> I was very, I was very embarrassed. I don't know. Well, he's, I mean, you know, everybody has insecurities. I'm sure yeah. you have some. I have some. Now, I, mean, I, mean, now I have a cane and everything like that, so I'm more, like, open about it. But at the time, I was not comfortable acknowledging it until, like, a couple dates in. So, but could you see her? Yes. Yeah, I can, I can see now. It's now? Very, I, can, I have a tough time, like, 
recognizing faces and stuff like that. Like I couldn't make a, if you were standing five feet in front of me, I wouldn't be able to tell it was you, but I could see that there was a person there. I'll tell you something interesting, Lauren, is an aside. He is, he's always said one of his favorite celebrities physically is Megan Trainer. That's true. And she, Alba looks like Megan. Yeah. So I nailed it. Wow. This. Yes. 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 He actually so think, he still feel. thinks it's Megan Trainer. I think. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I'm all about that base. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I like this. All right. Um, are you the kind of guy that like pays on a, on first dates? Yes. I don't have much. To and pay what do you do? What do you do if it's like a bad first date? Yeah. Like, what did you do in the past? Yeah. Yeah. What would you do? South. What would you do? Um. I. N- I never had one that I couldn't like finish the dinner. Like if it was just a bad, bad chemistry or whatever, I would just say, all right, see you later at the end of dinner and go home. Although there were times where they had to give me a ride. What what percent, Lorman, you do this. What percentage of men say they don't pay for first dates? Who doesn't pay? Now now it's a thing where like you feel Uh, like you're uh, uh, anti-feminist. I'm 50 years old. So I don't, oh, is there like pressure now? Am I an asshole if I'm on a date and I say I'm going to pay? Is that like, is that sexist? I think, you know, it's a weird thing because I'm not, um, I don't have like a lot of that feminine, like, yeah. uh, feminist energy about me. Like I like a man who can like come in and like put his foot down and have some control and have like Hell some yeah. like Mike, serious right, masculine Mike, energy. Oh, well, Mike's out, but okay. Um, <laughs> I'm an alpha. <laughs> well. But there's, there's a bunch of girls. Yeah, that right, 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 right. They feel like if you don't let them split the bill, like, oh, you don't think I can afford it? You don't think I'm independent enough? Like, I, I wouldn't feel like a man. I, I know that sounds bad, but I would feel like a, I'd feel like a cuck if I was like, hey, can we split this? What did you have? Oh, I had the, I had the soup. What did you have? You had the like, I'd feel like an asshole. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but look, look, this is so not. So I didn't know, I know if you're <laughs> like into. Um, I guess the question is more like, are you into a girl who wants to pay on a first date or does it make you feel? It's almost like she knows Alba's about to leave you. (laughs) (laughs) She's setting you up for the next relationship. She's smart. She knows. She can see the future. Yeah. Um, No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't need that necessarily. I think if it was like you and I I would look at our bank accounts eventually and be like, Lauren could probably foot this one. But Mm, (laughs) my God, terrible joke. Was that a joke? Was that actually a joke? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I missed it. Okay. This is, I feel like um, such a true love here. <laughs> so I guess since you can't see much, yes. and you if you were to go on a date with someone today, yeah. like, let's just say like me, um, right. what would you focus on the most? Like, has your sense of smell <laughs> increased? Like, would you... Like, want to touch my arm, feel my skin? Like, how do you connect this? You know what I mean? I don't know. My tits. Like, what's, how do you do this? That is, how do you see someone, you know? I guess I don't. Yeah, I would probably uh, feel your tits on the first date. Now that you can't see, Mike, do you think tits are more important? Yeah. Yeah. I think I I do typically grope people when I meet. I didn't really notice that I do that, but I do. Somebody asked that, remember? Uh, Yeah, so I'm Mike and the Minifans. Who was that? Matt from Providence. Yeah, was he like, we we had had a a show, this show has a bunch of shows that wrap up and talk about the show. And one time, somebody was like, hey, Mike, do you ever just because you're blind take advantage of it and just grab people's tits, basically? And say like, oh, I didn't see you there or something. It's like, that old joke. How often does that work? (laughs) Jesus (laughs) Christ. Well, Trump grabs him by the pussy. Well, so. allegedly, we're also on Rumble, but yeah, cer- <laughs> certainly, Lord, certainly, certainly. Well, okay. Well, I'll, I'll let you go. So, I, so this is the this is a little taste of what uh, would come first on day. first date. Yes, yes, what first date is going to be? Yes, I think so. Right. All right. All right. Good. We'll get that yeah, scheduled. It's exactly what it is. It's it's only it's like a whole thirty five minutes of finding out more information. Wow. About Perfect. you. Excellent. I would say this chemistry. Who doesn't want to see more of that? I'm you know? in. I'm yeah. in. I will. I will watch this. Damn All right. Sure. So go subscribe to all Lauren stuff. Lauren, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Lauren. Of course. Thank all you right. for having me, Mike. Right. It was so nice to meet you. you Have too. a good day. There you go. Yeah, you guys Lauren. have a joke. I feel like there was something there, though. You know? Uh, <laughs> what? No, she's great. She's great. She's great. She's great. She's great. She's great. I was looking at the YouTube thing. I think the pictures were of you, me, and Justin, the three of us. I would much rather look at Justin and Lauren Compton if I'm somebody on YouTube right now, wouldn't you say? Oh, Justin was on instead of Lauren Compton? I think so. I didn't see her, no? <laughs> For the first, like, 15 oh, seconds. Okay, and then okay, we okay. Oh, okay. Right she fun. seemed like a good sport. Yeah. You know, I mean, not. I don't think she's really... Gets her, quite gets our sense of humor, but maybe I she think does. she gets mine quite well. <laughs> I think she, she does. I think she, she was laughing at the non jokes, but hey, she's laughing. Away. That's all I need. Um, <clears throat> do we have a, do we have any dozen trivia that I haven't broken in the last? Uh, 
No, uh, there was the the Mincy clip. Is that what you're talking about? What's that? The Mincy clip from last night. One second. I, we got to get this board. The Mincy clip from last night. That wouldn't be news. This is pretty funny. They have, they have Rico sound finding has been traded as well. Oh, really? Yes. Do you have that or no? I just saw somebody has that. It. Viva, maybe. Is that, I have no, you would know better than me. Like, is that worth it? Other than just being funny, is it worth it for you professionally to fly down there and? Probably so. She has a. Oh, she's got a big fall. I like, but that, she has like a male audience. I think it's like, I think because of, she's on a Tom Segura's network. So I think it's a lot of like male comedy fans. Right, right, right. So I don't, I think so. And she's had like, uh, like comics I like and shit on there. So here we go. I have a Rico. You should do it. Maybe I will. She did seem a little, you know, like, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> go ahead. You didn't know? Wild leave. Oh, I didn't know. He just traded himself off his own team? That's crazy. Holy shit. Do you know where he's going? <laughs> what's, what's his reaction? No idea. I feel like you're mad at me. I didn't trade myself. <laughs> <laughs> we won a championship. You want to come to the ice dogs? I tried to retire. <laughs> Jeffy Lowe banned it. That's true. That's true. He goes, I forgot Steve did a great you wanna come Marty to the Marsh. Ice dogs? Remember that? Yeah. I think I yeah. Shit. <clears throat> short circuit. Michael Sam and uh, Sam and Austin Leo Robot. Michael <laughs> Sam. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I've traded myself. Uh, I'll just make it. I, I don't know if it's out there yet or not. Uh, the trade is complete. I've traded myself to Team Smockin for Ben Mintz. That's that <laughs> oh. was the team. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on Mincy's team? Or was uh, on Mark Mincy's Mark Titus team? and Ken Jack. Yep. Wow. Our Here we go. Smocking. So you ditched Rico for Titus. Well, I want a real college basketball expert. <laughs> you know? Showing I really your, did. I thought you were showing your solidarity. Like they didn't want him fired. Well, also that. But I, want, I finally want to work with somebody who knows college basketball. Okay. So it'll be kind of a thrill to do that. And I thought about it. I've never played with anybody in my life who has been ranked in the top 35 in the league in scoring. These guys are both, I think, in the top 20. Is that oh. right? No one else has been? Never. You think Pat? <laughs> Never scored a point in two years. Rico? No. No. Quiggs, no. Really? Yeah. Or top 30. I forget 35. what it was. 35. That's, that's a lot of that's people. That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> you know, look, I've done this for, you know, I, you know, I want to win another championship. And this team has put together, I didn't think was going to win a championship. No, I, I, first of all, I want to thank Hank Lockwood, who tried his best to put the, he was in a very, very difficult situation. Yeah. He did the best he could. So I want to thank Hank. I want to thank Quiggs. For helping win the title last year. He messed up this year, obviously. Did but you ever think fine. of bringing Quiggs back? I thought about it, but I want to thank Quiggs. Uh, hold on. I want to thank Steve Robinson, obviously, who started with me, and Jared Carabas. Uh Trista Crick, Big Ev, uh, Pat, as I said. I don't think I'm forgetting. Am I forgetting anybody else? John or? Rich. John Rich. I want to thank John Rich as well. Um, I just want to thank those guys. All my teammates. Yeah. So I want to thank them. It, it looks like we have a uh, reaction from Mostly Sports as well. Okay person um but i wasn't i wasn't sure how you're going to handle this but we, we are trading you from team smocking and i wanted you to yeah yeah you've you've been you've been traded from team smocking you've officially been traded and i i wanted to break the news to you in person um but i wasn't sure how you'd handle it but you pointing out that tyler but that they have to move on from tyler bass i feel like i feel like you'd understand it's just business I mean, he laid you know? it out for you yeah uh, I don't. I, I'm not. A fan. <laughs> I was straight for that guy. He just <laughs> scream the N word. <laughs> just what he does when he panics. They say who he's traded for. Yeah. Face looked offended. I just was first. surprised. Yeah, I was surprised. I didn't yeah. see that. Right, Brandon coming. doesn't know. So yeah. In Jack kept preaching. You get the good with the bad. Yeah. With the with the thing. Well. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I like. I just have a question from from the gallery here. Titus, Mincy's won a title. In, in the dozen. You're sure. trading a, a title, a, a guy who has a ring from your team? That's, You're crazy. It's true. I thought about it, and if we were going to trade Mincy for somebody, uh, it, it would have to be a no-brainer. Because, again, I do like you, Mincy. And, and a one regular season loss, um, that's, we'll that doesn't after, define who funny. you are. Okay. But that was a pretty bad. No, it was and, three, yeah. And, and it and it just, but it was regular season and not play but I've done it in the play but it aligned with a pretty good opportunity for us to uh to bring in Kirk Minahan oh so I saw the Minahan was getting tra that's oh. kind of an honor for Mincy. so you've been traded you've been traded for Brandon Kirk Minahan. You, you're on you're on team Minahan. I wasn't sure how you're gonna
Brandon, I think Brandon's have a tough time on that. He's just <laughs> staring, like he's just like looking off into the distance. I mean, look, I want to pair myself. I've never got a chance to play with a couple of horses before, and these guys are both, I think, in the top twenty or twenty-five. So, and I'll make this very clear. I'm a member of Team Smockin. Right. I'm not the leader of Team Smockin. I'm not going to work behind the scenes to take over Team Smockin. Okay. I'm along for the ride. They want me to do niche answers. I'll do them. They want me to be the final answer guy. I'll be it. They don't. Oh, I but won't. you don't require that. No, I'm yeah. egoless. I want to win another title. Interesting. Whatever yeah. helps them win a the title, I'm on board to win the title. I've won it. I've done it all on my own already. I like to win as a team. Wow. So I think I think it's the right move. Now, you're you're the GM, so to speak. Or you were the GM of Team. Man. Correct. I'm not now. So you were I'm allowed a, I'm, to make this trade without the I'm, approval of the other guys or, or the commissioner. Oh, I I have been told we have been docked a win to sort of even things out. The team Smokin has lost one of their wins. What the How fuck? does that work? Well, it's it's I would say it's a lopsided trade. The number one ranked player in the league. I don't from, know. Both from, from t- both title winners. True. <laughs> that is true. That's true. I think everyone was comfortable with that. It they was took a, away a win. Justin, that's never that's never happened before. <laughs> well, I'm I'm, of a I'm trade. I'm, I'm I'm an unprecedented figure in the league. That's fucking everybody. Crazy. Every, Bullshit. Everybody agreed to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's as long as you're fine with it. We'll put the commissioner on if he wants to talk. We'll see. If I left my girlfriend for Lauren Compton, Justin wouldn't be as shocked as he is right now about, the, <laughs> about that docking of a win. <laughs> I just think that's fucking nuts. I don't think Lauren Compton got paid five hundred dollars for Playboy. I'm just gonna say it. You think she got more? I think she might get more than five hundred dollars. I'm just gonna say that. I could be wrong. Well, I'll ask her. When I'm down in Austin, I'll investigate. <sighs> Show me your bank account. Thirty-five minutes of that. <laughs> I think she was delightful. Dating relationship with the guy's been a relationship for like seven years. I think she was a real treat. You got to break up with Al before you do this. Okay. Like, <laughs> like to me, not, not, <laughs> not even full time, but you got to go on a couple of dates before yeah, you go yeah. on the show. Yeah, of course. You're okay with that, right? Of course. It's, she understands. So it's part of the. She, it's all, yeah, it's a bit. It's show business, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let her do whatever she's doing, and you do what you do. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. And you're gonna be in Austin anyway. It's like the podcast capital. Yeah, I'll be world. fine getting down there myself. Oh, no problem. <laughs> It'll be a breeze. That's where Mick went on pilgrimage. That's true. Mick went down there to become. Maybe I'll bring a po- Mick with me. Mick went down there to become a podcaster. <laughs> Usually they walk around and like run into Joe Rogan's like, studio. Just they give him a show. That'll be kismet. Maybe I'll bring Mick to the YMH studios with me. Yeah, I mean, is it Menor's old assistant running around there? All stars are there. Yeah, Austin's a big deal. Is the commissioner available? I tried calling. He didn't pick up. All right. That's good. That's probably. A lot of no comments coming from yeah, the commissioner's office probably... right now. Was there anything to... Uh, wow. Team Smock and welcome Kirk. Let's go. That's nice. It's <laughs> very nice. Anything to what? To uh, Ken Jack being on that team with your friendship with Jeff Delo. Not at all. I looked at the teams uh, out there that matched up. I had a couple of things in mind. I, I knew I didn't, just didn't think we were going to win the championship. And I was looking to trade those two guys and get two guys back to sure. Team in hand, but just didn't, just didn't make any sense. So I think part of it was like, hey, we like these logos. We don't mess with it. So I said, do whatever you want. I don't care. But if I go to a different team, I don't care if it's Team in hand or Smockin or whatever. Um, uh, I, 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 the only team I didn't reach out to, I thought about reaching out to was in the past, Nick is, in the, if I have talked about uh. swapping, Frank and I, but wow. but Frank's, they're on a, that team's having a good time. I'm, I, I felt like they weren't going to do that. So yeah. that was it. Uh, that also would have been fun, Frank and the Frankettes with no Frank. Yeah, and, and Frank on Team Minahan. <laughs> like, Rico now has to answer questions for Team Minahan, which is very funny to me. Like, yeah, Jeff can't let them change the name. No, no, that's, a, that's not happening. Yeah. And he now, can't retire, right? Like, that, that's put to bed. I don't know, the docking wins, why that's not? That's true. It's true. <laughs> it's with, to me, I, Mincy, I hope you confront Jeff. To me, Mincy, it. Rico, and Hank Lockwood's a... Like a fun time team. That's a good team. That's yeah, that's fun. That's high energy. Like, yeah, I think Rico have a good time with it. He will be the leader of that team. So did Team Minahan get added to win? You have to ask Jeff. I don't know that. Hmm. Why um, couldn't you have done Mark Titus and uh, Ken Jack? Oh, I guess you couldn't for for Hank and Rico. I guess we could have, but I, there was all there was a reason for it. I didn't really care. So I just thought it'd be funny if they were on Team Minahan. So sure, I left of course. Minahan, so I was fine with that. Who's the um? I, I don't know. I don't watch their team in trivia. Who's who's good? Mark, Ken, Jack, or both? They're both pretty good, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think they're both like the top twenty or twenty-five. So Boy, that's I'm tough. It's gonna be tough that. to beat. Now you can yeah. actually bounce movies off of someone. Too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And other stuff, and you know, so in college basketball, I have to use Thorner friends like we had to do with Rico all the time. <laughs> so it's good, you know. And Rico was uh, you know, he was on the team. <laughs> Would you say who is who is your best second guy in the history of Team Minahan? Quigs. Expect to hear that. Yeah. 
I, th- how about, how about third? I thought I swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> I thought about for getting rid of both of them and just putting Coleman and Justin just doing that team, just going. Oh, God. <laughs> Justin would have been good at yeah, some of them. Selectively I, good. Coleman might have. I'm good at music. That's what I mean. Yeah. Mash, are you good at mashup? Yeah. There might have been oh, somewhere they could. I, it's the sports that'll kill me. We know. We get some good answers out of it. That's true. That's all I care about is good times. <laughs> Jeff should add Justin Coleman and Gus as a team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have the commissioner now. The commissioner. It's okay. about time. Mr. Commissioner, good morning. Uh, good morning. How's a it going? Busy uh, day with the Academy yeah. Awards, the trades, Lauren Compton. <laughs> Justin is... Well, let's, let's get the important thing out of the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, N- Nia or whatever, a horrible movie. Nia it's getting awful. two Academy nominations. Ma- Maestro, a, terrible. Disgrace, disgrace, absolute disgrace. Justin is outraged at you, Mr. Commissioner. I, 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 for the record, I said I agreed to all this stuff, but Justin, go ahead. I don't understand how this uh, a win gets reseeded from them. I mean, let's let's call it spade a spade. Doesn't matter. <laughs> like, like, it's just, <laughs> like it's not going to matter. Like they're going like like, to so, they're they're going to win games. So oh, perfect. It, so it, we can actually. Would you ask Dale win. answer a question like this as press conference? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So <laughs> it doesn't matter and lasts at his own. I mean, are you are you like, are you like worried about him about Smock and not getting wins now? That's not so. Yeah, it was it. They 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 took a. Three time MVP. They had to even up trade a little bit, and that's what they did. So you knew you knew felt. this before you made the trade that a win was yes. Okay, I think everybody was aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, yeah. There's that's a great that, principle that, before that. Seems that, above yeah. board. Then yeah, I said that. I, I had no objection to it. I, I don't think I don't think Mark or or Ken Jack. I don't think anybody. Is a, if, if we're if put it this way, if the win, if we play so poorly that the playoffs are an issue, then that win is not even. We shouldn't worry about stuff like that. Okay, you know what I mean? Does that calm you, Justin? I, yeah, I, if, if Kirk's fine with it, but I was ready for I was ready for war. It's totally fine. <laughs> how is um how is everyone handling the news? Uh, people are pretty shocked. The, the audio is not great. Mincy's facial expression when Kirk tells him you've been traded is quite unbelievable. One of the best <laughs> moments we've had in the history of the show. He is le- like legitimately stunned. Uh, Brandon Brandon was shocked, but I think Brandon's amusement of the fact that Ben Mintz is now the captain of Team Minahan was funnier <laughs> to him. <laughs> is he the that, ca- is, that, he, is he the official well, captain of the team? I I think he's de facto fills into your role, but I think there 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 may be chaos amongst that team now. So. I think that's gonna be a fun team. Uh, I don't know how good they'll be, but I think it's gonna be a fun team. What is this? What is, what is Rico? I saw Rico's clip. What's his? Well, how's he handling? Well, so Rico, I haven't seen Rico's reaction to him knowing Mintz is on the team. His reaction, his cl- that clip was taken. Uh, it looks like after your announcement, so he was. As of that moment, a team of two. So I, I don't think he knew what. Uh, I don't even. I, I think he. I mean, look, he tried to retire at the beginning of the year. I'm sure. I mean, I, I did block that from happening. But I, he's got a new member. He's got a cha- former champ. He's a champion for a champion. It's true. Like I've always said, more, you know, fewer men have walked on the moon than when they did a dozen trivia title. I gotta say, Jeff or is like men. Jeff is like Goodell. He takes heat very. He makes controversial decisions and he stands. That's by why he gets paid. What he gets paid. Yeah. Like, you know, somebody's got to take the heat for it, right? Yeah. It's like Sam Kennedy. Like you got to. You just got to <laughs> right. answer the tough questions. Um, I, have you said it on, I, don't, I, I'm obviously back and forth between the shows. Yeah. Um, I, I did like the interview by the way. Congrats to Mike. Um, no, big. <laughs> thank you. Jeff. Yeah. Uh, uh, I will. Um, are you, you, have you just defined your role? Cause I, I believe from what I heard this morning, you are not like cat. You are just the guy on the team now. This is from those guys. I don't know if have you, oh, have yes. you, no, I, I said I'll yet? do. I'll do whatever they want me to do. If they want me to be the answer guy and the niche guy, I'll do it. If they don't, I'll do that. I am joining a team. I am a member of a team. I can, as I always have in the past, put my ego aside to uh, to try and win the title. But the one agreement we made, Ken, Jack, and I, was that I won't I won't change teams for the rest of this year. But at the end of the year, I am free to wander wherever I want to wander. Wow, that's a good agreement. That they've locked you in for a year. I, I also I um. I am curious. Uh, Kendrick is the most phoned person that does it out to your team. Mm-hmm. Usually is not. So that's a new dynamic. That someone on your team is, is usually called. Yep. Um, you're not called, which is odd. But that's obviously, Rico Hank not called. Hank Hank's playing really well this year. I must he is that. playing well. Um, yeah, best second guy I read. Uh, so, yeah. I, it's, it's, well, it's, a, I, I, it's a big I, shake look, up. Look, I'm not going to. If Ken Jack wants to keep hanging out with his friends and taking phone calls and playing slap and tickle, that's fine. Um, it's it, it's their team. Um if he wanted some counsel from somebody who's won the championship, I would say you might want to be selective in that. But if he doesn't want counsel, I'm not going to offer counsel. I'm here to help, to chip in, to hang out. Like I said, uh, you probably missed it. It's going to be an honor to be with somebody who knows college basketball. 
that is going to be, I think, fun, you know, for the first time. And I'm glad that I saved his job, uh, Mark Titus. I, I, I swooped in and saved his job when someone tried to take it from him. So now we can win a championship together and, uh, and, uh, and Ken Jack as well. I, I, it's going to be, I, to me, I, I think I said, Jeff, I never had anybody in the top 30 or 35 in scoring on my team. Now I have two guys, True. so it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. How many players are in the league? How is that possible? It's ten teams. There's a lot. No, I mean there's there's eighteen teams. Eighteen teams. Okay, there's, there's right. a lot. fifty-four players. Yeah. Pat never scored a point, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pat, I believe, but I'm surprised Rico never cra- Quigs. No, they're probably in like the forties. No, Jeff, I don't know. There, there is, there is a little something to the fact that you you were averaging astronomical numbers. Um, but, you are still averaging over nine points, but. No, there's they. I don't think anyone ever eclipsed. I think it was like four and a half points, and that is right around that mark. But I, I also, but I also did all the doubles. Yeah. I did the niches, so like it's harder right. for guys in that team to score points too. And you stupid, may it, so. it, that is the other thing. You may be sacrificing I an mean, MVP with this. I mean, I, just, I think that's wow. thank, thank thank you for saying that, Jeff. You're right. I'm sub- subjugating my ego, like Bill Walton himself in '86. Sometimes you go somewhere and you want to just win a title and contribute in your own way. I, I've won MVPs. Like, who cares? What Glenny Ball is going to win MVP? Great. Good for him. Like, that's great. But, like, it's all – I've won a championship. Uh, uh, Rico contributed, I guess, in some ways. I think I actually said, if you go back and listen, I said the final answer first. Uh, in the fi- in Durham first. In the, but that, that – neither here nor there. But uh, – but I think Ken- it was credited as a team point, by the way. Because I think all three of you got yeah. – Yeah, and the guy in the audience. But Ken Jack, I think uh, – <laughs> Ken Jack – and Titus, you know, competitors, athletes, they're going to learn what it's like to win a title. I'm going to take these guys for the take these guys. For, I want to see young guys win championships, Mike. You know, that's sure. all I want to do now at this at this stage of my career. That's nice. That's kind of nice. Justin seems outraged about this MVP thing. I could still win the MVP, Justin. Oh, good. I, mean, I, I thought you, I thought you were, you were disqualifying you for that, and I was. Oh, oh no. Can I <laughs> can I ask Jeff? And this is might be an example of we didn't know how good we had it with Gus. If Kirk yelled that he was going to blow up your house, does it worry you at all that if Justin was working here, your house would be blown up? <laughs> hmm. uh, it worries me because I actually consider Justin a, like an actual friend now. So that, but, That's worrisome. Uh, yeah, but I still think I still think he'd blow up my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. I, uh, I, I do have a question. Uh, sure. How long is the? How many weeks is the season? Uh, the season, I think it's like thirty. It runs through. It hey. was supposed to be. It was supposed to be early June, but now it runs to the end of June. Okay, because because right. as because as of last night they were one one and one, and then they lost. So now they're o three and one. No, they they were one two and one. They're now o two and one. That's oh, so it wasn't they don't get, they don't gain okay. a loss. They okay, just... that's okay. That's I'm I'm a little cool. Yeah, no, it doesn't. No, it's not like a, a win to a loss. They just they just vacate their win, and it's ah. Oh, so you went to a winless over. team. Yes. Uh, number number yeah. nine in the league, so you're just teetering on the. No, we're brink. fine. They, 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 no, this this team, uh, not not our team. Their that, team. That will that yeah. will change very quickly, is my assumption, based on fan voting tendencies, which haven't changed in four years. Um, so we'll see. I think I, we're gonna you're gonna play a match next week. You were supposed. So I will say the only we got to figure who you're gonna play, but the only thing that kind of messes up is a bunch of the teams that you were going to play. Smokin had just played. It's like I'm not going to have them play the booth ponies right. again next week. I could ask. I don't know. You and Will are friends. Can they broker a match? Well, I don't, um, I, well I, again, that's up to Ken Jack and, the, and to Mark Titus. I don't. I'm staying out of that stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. Is there, um, uh, no, it should be. What's is, there, that? is there any potential for a team Minahan Smokin match soon? Boy, not boy. Coleman really. He, it doesn't help take him long to find those <laughs> hidden matchups. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow. Who would have ever thought of that matchup, Coleman? <laughs> Jeff, did, uh, Jeff, yeah, Jeff, Jeff, did, that, did that ever cross your mind? <laughs> just say, Jeff, are you still wondering about the ride between Kevin from Bristol and Mama K? <laughs> um, but also, Coleman, I, I got to say, you yeah. are going to be absolutely stunned on Sunday, February 11th, in between plays oh, during sorry. the Super Bowl. They're oh, going to be God. airing uh, advertisements. These are crazy. Uh, These commercials uh, they run in the <laughs> Super Bowl. Big fan. Love Super Bowl. Wild. Wild. <laughs> Wait, but you're telling me, Jeff, hold on, for the record, the game is interrupted, and then there's, like, actors and cars driving around for 30 seconds at a time? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, I don't know if you may not know, it's going to happen a lot. Wow, what? Wow. (laughs) Advertisements, yes. Uh, Coleman is so rich that his, like he didn't have commercials growing up. Yes, we did. We didn't have too many commercials, though. His parents banned commercials from his home. (laughs) 
So I'm on to something. Is, is, Macaulay exactly Culkin wasn't as old in Home Alone. Alone. What is this? <laughs> when I met Coleman, told me dancing? they had like a housekeeper who would who would change the channel during commercials. <laughs> never had to see one. Okay, we had that. But. I mean, lost in the, lost in the, uh, uh, Coleman's commercial take was so dumb that nobody even cares that Justin thinks the fucking senator from Maine wrote the hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. I, I've been there where you just throw something. Like Justin was basically saying, it's not the same person, right? That's not the way but you phrase it. If you want to tell me yes, Justin I said, holy him. shit, she wrote The Hunger Games? <laughs> Is that how it happened? I, I don't remember that. Steve has, Steve has no chance the young adult novel fans are going to be just really funding Suzanne Collins. <laughs> unbelievable. Well, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, well, all right. Well, thank you, Mr. Commissioner. We will, uh, we will talk to you soon. Yes, good luck. Good luck. We'll talk later. Thank you. Jeff D. Lowe. I hope our friendship is still okay. Because as a prominent league member, I often talk to him like a like an influential owner, like a Robert Kraft or a Jerry Jones. Oh, and you've stepped down from now that. Now that I'm more of a elder statesman in the league, you know, a, a gun for hire. I would think you guys would be closer now. Because now you're not getting in the muck and the mire. That's of... true. It'll be nice to get out of the dirt, you know. And just <laughs> play dealings, trivia. Yeah, because yeah, I'm sure I will not, you know, gain control of this team in any way. Right. Just on my way. I'm like, there's these... no, you, you, there's no issues with like collective bargaining agreements no. now. No, no, you no. Know? Yeah, exactly. It's nice. Yeah, these guys want to strike, though. You know, I'd do it. I'm not crossing any picket line. Right. Unless Titus and and Ken Jack, these two monster personalities, tell me to do it, then I'll follow them. <laughs> Seems like you're already kind of poo pooing. No, there. no, no. <laughs> certainly not. Immediately. I think B for Mincy's a straight up. That's a fine bet. A fine trade. I, think. I agree. Two champs. Mincy was on last night in trivia. You're going to like this, Mike. Uh, here's the question. He So they let Mince pick the niche category. Yeah. He picked the uh, HBO drama The Sopranos. Yeah. Go ahead. What is the name of Robert Patrick's character who debuts in season two and ends up owing Tony a large gambling debt? Eric Scatina. Eric Scatina. Uh, final answer. Final answer. No, 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 no Davey Scatina. Davey Scatina. <laughs> <laughs> And then the other team correctly said Davies <laughs> Katina. Let's go! That's Feilberg and Compton and Dana's right? team. Oh, the I Davey? heard the part. I didn't realize he gave them the answer. I thought it was just he <laughs> fucked up. They said, final, final answer. Is it, eh, yeah. Davies Katina. No, it's, it's Davy. Davy. I didn't realize they had a chance to steal it. Yeah, yeah. That's very funny. Very funny. I was so, going to ask if that happened on your previous team, what, what would you have done to, like, Rico if, if he had done that? Um... Like stuff like that, it's like twenty nine thousand. Like it comes from a place of caring. I, w I don't think I would have been that. I don't think I would have been that mad at him. Tri I, on the dozen, you take more. I've seen you angrier on the dozen than you've ever been in here. <laughs> I take the dozen very seriously. <laughs> yeah, I get, I'm not kidding. I say it's pretty much the top reason why I resign with the company. <laughs> yeah. Like I want to win titles, and I want to go from. I kind of want to go from team. I like the idea, like Deion Sanders did for a while. He went from the Cowboys to the Forty. Like kind of going from title to title. You know? Yeah. Helping out young guys. Well, you were. I want to help young boys. <laughs> you know, that's Jesus my goal, right, Justin? We can do this together. Teach me. That's the Justin era. That's yes. what the Justin era is yes. about. Yes, yes, yes. Is Jack, is Jack Mack and Mark Titus that young? Ken, Ken Jack. Ken Jack. I have no idea. The younger than I am, I'm the oldest guy at the, basically at the company. So. I assume Mark Titus was an older guy. I think he's in his 30s. Okay. Played college basketball. He's got long hair. So, I mean, yeah, he's kind of a wacky guy. I think I don't... I, I don't think I've ever had a conversation with any subs with either one of them. I talked to Titus briefly in Chicago. That's it. You were a guy like Jeter that could have retired with yeah. one Larry Bird. It's not the way the world is anymore. Nope. It's, a new, it's a new league. What's that? What's that called? Ah, nothing. No, okay. it's a little joke. <laughs> Very little. My mind yeah. is fucking blown. What, what is it? What was the joke? <laughs> I, I just said a little what when you said Jeter. Yeah, he does. He gives him a score. Oh, so oh, 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 oh. He's on brand. Oh, honestly, on. couldn't sleep that night, though, when I was, had to give a D name Yankees player. And I got home and was like, Derek fucking Jeter. That's a tough one. Yeah. Insane. One. Those are hard. But Carabas didn't get him either. <laughs> I think it's, but I think that I do this anyway. Like, I didn't think of him. If you give me a letter, I go back to like when I was a kid, though. Although that's when Coleman was a kid. But like, for me, I think of like guys from the 70s and 80s. I, I, like, get, I just don't think of present guys. I still think of Jeter's almost like but, modern day. But for Carabas, that would be going back to the late 90s, early 2000s. Right. It's not no, that, oh, it's oh, not for that sure. far yeah. back. But yeah, but I'm not a big fan of like listeners. Being like, I just think, it's like when you're in that moment. It's like dozen. Like it's, you, your brain is spinning. And Coleman's a Coleman is a shit. He's a dummy. Like you don't know anything about sports. It's, it's well, the that's giggle. Funny. When you start hitting me with the giggle during it, I lose There's it There's no Joe Torrey is. I mean, he's always got excuse. It's always it's the giggle that got him. The numbers, it's the, yeah. There's, well, <laughs> both, not, both you don't know true. sports. Both can be true though. <laughs> You've never watched a sport in your life. <laughs> I know ball. <laughs> he's a gambler. <laughs> you okay, Justin? My mind is fucking blown. What's your take on it? Yeah. I like it. I like it. I was scared at first. I thought you might be like joining like Clemmer's team. I didn't think that would be a good mat mashup. Isn't that, isn't that girl re on that or whatever the Gia? Well, I thought Gia. maybe you were trading her for you. 
No, I find I, 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 nothing is clever. Clemmer would just. I feel like I. Uh, Clemmer's like. You should have treated yourself. Clemmer's like, <laughs> yeah. right. like a dumber version. Yeah. Clemmer's like a dumber version of me. Yeah, like, exactly, I mean, our strengths exactly. are the same, and I'm better than he is at it. So, like, that's that would be a no go. No, I want. You know, I looked at. They're very good at mashup. They're good at music. Like the things I'm not great at. So in college basketball, how much scouting did you do? A lot to know this. <laughs> a lot. I watch a bunch of games. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Was there any thought towards the booze ponies? Just because like Compton no, they, they have too much. They have they have like a fun. Yeah. And that's not the champion. That's not. They don't care. You don't like fun. I don't like fun. Yeah. And Ken Jack and Titus don't seem like particularly interesting and fun people either. So it's like a <laughs> net. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah. So it's perfect. Like they just want to win the title. I think. Yeah. And that's they, good. They seem disgusted with that Mincy thing, like not humorous at all, which I liked. Oh, I really? can laugh at it, but like they weren't laughing at right. it. Right. Yeah. And I like Mintz, so you know, I, I don't think he minds going there. I wouldn't think. He's just happy to have a job, I suspect. Yeah. Does he still technically work for Brickwatch? Yeah. Or is that so, charade over? Uh, well, <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> okay. Hey. I believe he's currently on uh mostly sports pretending to be Patrick Mahomes. That's why he was on. That's why. That's how they. Got, boy, him. I hope not. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, hello there, Mincy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, like, what, are we, what are we talking about? <clears throat> oh, Ken Jack has released a statement. Okay. Uh, today we made the not so difficult decision to part ways with Ben Mintz. We would like to thank oh. him for his weeks of service to the team and wish him well in his future endeavors. After Mincy's disastrous performance versus the Booze Ponies, we received a call from the three-time league MVP. And one-time champ Kirk Minahan, also a playoff MVP. Exploring the possibility of a trade, talks progressed quickly in terms of agreed to. Uh, exchange for Kirk, uh, contract guaranteed through the remainder of the season. Team Smokin is trading Ben Mintz in our lone win of the season to Team Minahan. So there you go. Wow. Do you like them kind of taking a shot at Mincy on the way out? I don't know if I love that. I might, it's, that's their decision. A little unprofessional. Um, I'm just asking you. I'm the press. I'm asking the, a player at his locker. <laughs> uh, I might have handled it differently. Maybe not. You know, I, I respect those guys. You know, we're, all, we're just trying to win a championship. Okay. I don't have time for your bullshit questions. Next. Well, what if they did that to you on your way? Would you like that? <clears throat> um, it would motivate me, so I would like that. Okay. I'm a, I'm a champion, Mike. You're not. All right. You know, I'm not crawling like fucking, not crawling the fucking Austin begging for, you know, publicity. Oh, you're I'm a real man, Kirk Minahan. You're, <laughs> you're a real man. I'm not pretending, I'm, I'm not pretending <laughs> I've dated anybody before. <laughs> On dates. It'd be great if you were a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot yourself. It finally happened. Well, I do. You know, I date with Bud, Bud Dwyer. <laughs> Thirty-five minutes, huh? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. No, first dates. I'm. I haven't been on too many second dates. Sure. But first dates. I've Justin, had will you be accompanying Mike to this for the Kirk Minahan show or no? Uh, yeah, for the Kirk Minahan show, I'd love to. Okay. Wow. Good. Right. Remember, remember when Mike was going out with a uh, person who was in studio a little bit, uh, AJ. You go AJ. out with her a little bit. Yeah, they did. You, you, did you did you grab lunch? Did you grab lunch with said person? Grab lunch. I did. I did grab lunch. With her. Were you I single at the time? No. Oh, okay. No. I think about that sometimes. Like, why did I do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> I felt like I had. She asked a couple times. Oh, so she asked to, you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I felt like I'm being rude if I. I say would no. throw that date in on this episode. I guess it makes I you could. seem more progressive. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I could, would say yeah. that. Be like, yeah, I, I kind of I've dated women, I've dated men, I've dated transgender. Everything, everything between is my friend Stuttering Johnson. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. I did forget about that. I forgot yeah. about AJ. Yeah. I hope she's doing all right. Yeah. That's the other. That's the other thing Jerry does now. Too, I heard at the end of the show, like he's like, he was talking about somebody. And he's like, I forget who it was a transgender person. Oh, it was about the uh, uh, was it about the swimsuits. Yes. Uh, uh, I think, yeah, just my so He's like, uh, she's like, I don't know, I'm sorry. He! He's so happy with himself. He's so proud of himself. Yeah, that's one that you've talked about. Where that's like three years old. Now. Yeah, yeah. We get it. What's that, Justin? I got it. Okay, go ahead. The swimsuit issue now features obese women. And sometimes <laughs> they're on the cover. There's Ashley Graham on the cover. But other obese women, you know, uh, I don't know, body positivity and men. In bikinis, men. Hold on, men. Let men. me just say, I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind this, but like, let's be very clear. The fact it, it was like a woke decision. I'm fine saying that, but this had nothing to do with the death of Sports Illustrated in 2024. Like nobody's buying fucking oh, yeah. magazines. It's not because they put Ashley Graham on the cover of Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Right, it might have hurt the swimsuit issue sales. I'll give you that. I think it definitely did. But like, I, I don't think the. You know, the amount of people buying the swimsuit issue in 2022 anyway, or 2021. Wouldn't save the company? No, it would not be. I mean, maybe it buys you six months. Yeah. But that's not the issue is that magazines are dying. Right. Obviously. I mean, you know, I mean, who the hell is fucking magazines at this point? Yeah. I do. I'm a thousand years old. It's not like they're paying for 
porn. <laughs> right, right. For, a girl yeah. in a I mean, for me, like when I got the Sports Illustrated swimsuit show, I was twelve or thirteen years old. I would masturbate to that. Right. Do you I remember nothing. the, the first kids. one you got? Uh, I got mine. Uh, well, I guess you're not really asking me, Coleman. No, I am. I'm curious. I'm curious. I was curious to see if you. Remember. Uh, I mean, there were some Al McPherson ones. There were some Christy Brinkley ones for sure. I don't remember this first one. Please. Why, Coleman? Do you remember yours? I do. What was it? <laughs> it was Kate Upton in the. Uh, yeah, that was mine. The yeah. uh, Alaskan. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. She's yeah. She's a awesome, she's yeah. a beautiful woman. For sure. Kids that now have plenty to drink off to. Yeah. Right, Justin? I saw porn. <laughs> I saw porn before I saw. <laughs> Kids now have plenty of people to jerk off around them. Stop! Stop! Please. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean that, that's like a that's like a that's such a fake like the idea that SI would be rocking and rolling right now if they had friggin' <laughs> whoever uh, I don't even know Sydney Sweeney in the cover it would like it would they would sell more copies <laughs> that that clip though it sound when you do uh, the Milton's read and say the store for men, men. Yeah, yeah. And he really sounds like that now. well this is store for men Milton's.com go, go there right That's now right. please real men go there Yes. I, I may go there before I head to Rough and Rowdy on Thursday to get myself a nice top for the outfit. You should. Yeah. Gus would say. It's Dapper. Ju- it's Justin calls himself a top. Nice <laughs> talks to these people. Nice we, uh, Do you not, Justin? No. Have I referred to myself? When I talk to who? Have you ever referred to yourself as a top before? No. <laughs> Never. No. I guess I've referred to myself as a bottom now since I... You have? What? No, what? I haven't. You I, just I, said I, that, not me. No, no, no. I, I saw where you were going. You were going to say. Where was I going? I'm asking you were, you were going to say, have you referred to yourself as a top? And I say no. And then you go, oh, so you're a bottom. And you, gotcha. It's one of your was, gotcha minute hand moves. Not, I was not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, wow. It's tough to predict. It's great great already. comedic mind. <laughs> uh, we have See, a, I, I, one second. Hold yeah. on. Uh, we have a call coming in? No, no, no. We, uh, Hank put out a statement. Oh, one second. Um, <clears throat> um, as much as I, I would love to see Mike and Lauren Comp together, I'm all for that first date episode. Sure. I would like a Justin first date episode also. I'll see if she has a younger okay. sister. <laughs> How much younger? <laughs> <laughs> even even like in the board of fetus, he's down. Oh, my God. <laughs> He prefers him younger, though. That, that he, seems... He's so perverted that even earlier in the pregnancy turns him on more than later. That's how young he likes them. Justin, why, did, why would that, an aborted fetus, why would that get you off? It's not a living being anymore. Why does that get you off, Justin? Uh, because she <laughs> killed something. Because what? It's dead. What? The fetus did? Because it's dead. All right, Hank Lockwood, my friend, who I think might be, you never know with him. He can be feisty sometimes, Mike. That's Very true. powerful guy at the company, by the way. I'm... I'm yeah, I'm trading. Yeah, me, I'm, I'm, the big four, me, Big Cat, Kevin, and Hank. I forgot about that. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where's Dave in that whole thing? <laughs> we were doing the real work. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> Go ahead, Hank Lockwood. We are keeping the name, and I will fight Jeff Delo tooth and nail to ensure Kirk Minahan will never be allowed back on the team, even after this cute little experiment with Smock and fails. Can't wait to beat that coward in the tournament. Hashtag wow. more to come. Wow. That stokes the the flames of this rivalry. That's good though. That's how we, that's that, that he should be feisty like that. Yeah, don't you think? This is a real rivalry now. Oh. This is Patriots Colts. Know what they should do? Should have us play each other, Mike. I think they should. Yeah, I think Jeff should. won't think of that. Get Jeff back that's on the line, idea. please. Nah, he's not. Gonna <laughs> Let's see this, Hank. Uh... Uh, mostly sports did tweet out that Patrick Mahomes has entered the studio. Big Cat is here to make sure he doesn't screw up any live programming. I guess Big Cat has to be there when he's on, though. Yeah. Whenever he's live. Yeah. So Big Cat's just his co-host? He's just standing over <laughs> his shoulder. <laughs> so there is audio of I haven't listened to it, but there is audio of uh, Patrick that's a, Mahomes. That's a pretty good deal for Ben Mintz. You say the N-word on air, and you get one of the biggest podcasters <laughs> on the planet to do the show. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jesus. What else do we have today, guys? A, a crazy day. Uh, I got some pretty random stuff. I got um, Alex Bennett talking about... Uh, how C or founders of companies shouldn't take a salary. Okay. Founders taking a salary versus not taking a salary. Oh, we're doing Jeff this now? She's like doing these so like, she's like, Eric, like she's, yeah, she's, she's the founder. She's yeah. doing like these videos. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. They're like, oh good, you're not taking a salary. That shows you're betting on yourself and you believe in the business. And then some investors are like, we want you to pay yourself because that shows you really believe in the business and you're betting on yourself and you're paying yourself. She calls the series Joking CEO. <laughs> like, what is this? She's even wearing like the same type of like white like uh, oh really cardigan or whatever. Like she's doing like a parody. Like I'd be on board for that. I don't like, think she is. No, she's definitely. Well, she is. She just no, she is. Boy, this is really like from the, trying to be Mean Girls to now trying to be Alex Cooper. Like no, this is really it's true. Like, yeah. What's next? Jesus Christ! I, I don't even understand like. So if it's your company, you shouldn't take a salary. Is that what is that what uh, uh, I guess Alex is saying? Yeah, so that you like bet on yourself. She just keeps wow. saying that. I'm yeah. excited for the Jordan with a Y podcast. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ. What else? Um, and then I have. 
I don't know if you saw this clip um, at all on Twitter. Some people were reacting to it, but it was like different animals and the percentage that the world eats them. And the top tier was like what? crazy. Oh, I what gotta, else? I got to pull it. <laughs> it was good. What you else? see, uh, yeah. uh, I don't understand what he was saying. Uh, no, please let's just move on before I fire this idiot. Go ahead. Uh, Caitlin Clark, uh, she's a woman's what basketball. What fraud? Did you see this phony flop? Yeah. No. Nothing it's... against her. She seems like a nice person and everything. But So they lost to Ohio State, right? Yes. So and they, they were favored. They right. stormed the court. Yeah, she's a big. She's like the biggest college basketball w- women's star there is, right? Oh, okay. uh, there's a guy from. There's a girl from Stanford who's really good. Okay, whatever. Okay, nobody <laughs> actually cares, Justin. So the game ends, and uh, that's what my Rumble people like. Oh, that's, that's true. Good. So the game ends, and they storm the court, and she. It looks like it, at first speed that she really takes a hard hit, but she just fucking did an enormous flop job. Wait, after the game? Yeah, they stormed yes. the court. They beat them. They upset them. The fans, like the crowd. Why would you flop at that point? Well, because like, it looked like a student crashed into her. Yes. Okay. So it looked like she made it seem like she had this like dramatic, like, you know, this person attacked oh. me. But it's, she, she, I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a flop, right? Oh, yeah. I'm watching it right now. It's good. It's great podcasting. The hell am I listening to? It's, it's the video footage. She, like, pushes off almost. And she... Intern Nicholas is calling the game. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what, 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 what am I reacting to? And then there's uh, there's sound of her afterwards talking about it. Go ahead. I was just trying to exit the court as quickly as possible, so I started running, and I was absolutely just hammered by somebody trying to run onto the court and basically blindsided and, um, you know, kind of scary. Could have caused a pretty serious injury to me and knocked a win out of me, but um, luckily my teammates kind of picked me up and got me off the court. So, um, And their AD already came and apologized to me, so I really appreciate that. And. Um, you know, this is what comes with the territory. I mean, I mean it's fine. She's I'm a sure kid. She's in college. Been... She got a moment. It's fine. Whatever. It's not no big deal. But uh, I saw they have uh, Rico's reaction to Ben Mintz. I just saw on Viva La Stool, if you have that. Well, there's a lot of hustle and bustle today. Things happening. <clears throat> News breaking. Well, I'm certainly sorry that Hank's upset. I enjoy playing with him. We've won uh, the Ryder Cup together and battled together at uh, Surviving Barstool. You know, it's old friends, but I, I got it. It's a tough league. You know, it's a tough league. That's true. He's on Mintz's team. What do you uh, what do you think about the trade now? I, I got too many problems in my life. I'm ret- I've tried to retire, and, then, and now they want concussions. He wants to send me down. Yeah. What's the trade? <laughs> what concussions? Is Mince at concussions? What's the joke? I think the analogy he's making is like they made him play. Oh, the concussions making him play after. Yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully that. Is, mental uh, health is now putting me in a bad mental health spot. So what's the, what's the trade? What do you say? The what? Bad mental health spot. So what do you, but will you hear the lie before that? Opponent of mental health is now putting me in a bad mental. <laughs> is that me or well, Jeff? That's you. Is that me or that's Jeff? You. That's got to be you, that's right? You. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with that? What? What's wrong with playing with Mincy? Uh, who's on Mincy's team? That's what I was wondering. Oh no. Titus. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had Mincy. No, we have Mincy. Yeah, you have Mincy. Hold on. I will say Hank's doing a bang-up job with this team right now. He's got, <laughs> he's, he's, he's got to get his guy. He's got to get his ducks. This guy who's in charge of the company, he's got his fucking ducks in a row. Jesus. You think there's a little Hank speaking for Rico there? He knows Rico can't let out his frustration, so he's coming at you. Uh, maybe. Getting yeah. his guys back. I think but that's good I, leadership. But I also say Jeff D. Lowe's a proponent of mental health. I don't want to say it's necessarily a shot at me. Maybe it is. I think it might be. Is but. Je- but that would be more synonymous with you, no? True. You know, right, yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we have that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I, I don't know. I need a vacation. Are you going to have a holdout? Catch this. What is this? <laughs> yeah. Just, Why are you throwing that over? So like to get out. I need, I need a couple of days. Oh, you're going to actually throw What's wrong with Vince? Is he good? College football? I, I mean, you go for a bubble team. He's probably pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Did you see the clip yesterday where he, like, blurted out the answer? <laughs> Yeah, it's a yeah, press yeah, conference. Yeah, 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 just yeah, trying to get him angry. Who's the coach now on this team? Who's the skip? Hank, I'm out. You're out. Yeah, I might show up in like fourth, fifth round now. You gotta like fourth, fifth round. The team team? Yeah. Or just openly cheat, make a mock. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good move. You should do that. Just form your own team. The riders, the new honk, and who else rides? I don't know why Rico wouldn't just. I don't know why Rico wouldn't just say, "I'm gonna." Have, this is a fun team. Rico should just, if he wants out, should just do like Costanza trying to get fired from the Yankees. 
just he's dragging the trophy around behind his car. Right. And- <laughs> yeah, I don't. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Bad things happen between me and Kirk. Then bad things happen in my life. So but- yeah. <laughs> I, I, I feel better about Rico than I did yesterday before the trade. Like, I'm, I'm open now to being friendly with Rico again. Now that you're not I think it's better for our friendship. Partnership. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. Like, I'm willing to have the car. If he wants to reach out, the skip will talk to him. Really? Do you think he will? Ball's in his court. Ball's in his court. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would say. Rico, do the right thing, buddy. Well, he finds out how many Americans ate, you know, turkeys last year. You know, or chicken. <laughs> or duck. Pigs. Stick around for the answer. Yeah. After the break. was high up there. It We're was, alligators. Who even, who even knows? It's right true. after this off-brand Viagra commercial, <laughs> we've got the answer. <laughs> what else? Justin or or Coleman or Mike? We'll talk about BlindMike.net uh, in a moment, of course. I mean, now that uh, Lauren Coppin should be on there. Literally, well, at one point, I wanted to say to her, "Why are you laughing?" Like, it was full <laughs> circle. Like I was confused. I I think maybe she was doing like a tribute. She finds me charming. I think so. Yeah. I think <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. 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 She's turning it on. What about uh, what's going on there? It's a Q's day. Well, is it though? Oh no, is I've it got not? A, I've got an issue. We might have to do cues there on a Wednesday this week. I got a text uh, from, Wednesday? I got, <laughs> that doesn't work. I got a text from Ironhead saying, "Could we do Wednesday?" Why is that? I uh, had some something come up. Jerry Callahan is getting in the way of cues day. You think? I doubt it because we record well after they're done. Mm. Usually, I think it might just be something else. But mm. it's They've a, been that, dropping that, later now, th- though. That's a first. Huh? They've been. They, they're not no longer dropping at like nine a.m. Now they're dropping at like five. Somebody was just saying that to me yesterday. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why then. Maybe they record in the afternoon. Oh, oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. know. Huh. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow will be uh, Quincy. Tuesday. Okay. Why are you laughing? <clears throat> Fez Watley. And then uh, we're doing a Louis C.K. Um, special breakdown uh, the following week. Okay. And um, uh, for the Blind Mike Project, a bunch of people have sent me this Chris D'Elia soft white underbelly interview yeah. that I guess I have to watch because it's him defending oh God. himself <laughs> against some of the charges. So I'll see this. I'll give it a watch. Good. Excellent. All right. What else, Coleman? What other story you got? Um, I, I do that, that you would rank lower than the last story you pitched. Out. <laughs> I want to hear more about this Too bad. Story. Go look it up. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, I have two uh, commentary calls. I have the, uh, I don't know if you saw the Bills Korean call the other night from the last play. It was pretty good. Oh, uh, oh, the field goal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But it's going to be in Korean. No. <laughs> this is Coleman just saying, listen to how funny a different language sounds. Sure. No, they, really- they do react loud. <laughs> yeah, they are very upset. That's what the field goal misses. <laughs> I had a feeling, yeah. <laughs> so I have that, and then I have one other one. This one was actually sent by Mutt. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a hockey call, and okay. kid nearly there, gets. And now Murphy. What, what is the? Okay. It is uh, minor league NHL. Yeah, it's minor. I think it's <laughs> si- Sydney and Max. So you had a Korean call ready to go, and Mutt just completely randomly sent you. <laughs> no, this is old. Oh, you're so old. Yeah. Oh, okay. But <laughs> I never got a chance to play it yet. Gotcha. I, I like it. <laughs> And that puck's going to go out of play here, and uh, <laughs> that's going to do it for that sequence right there. 9.25 left. I apologize if I just uh, uh, just damaged your eardrums there. Just It went right over the mesh, right over my head. So, uh, oh, my God. I just I apologize for that. I'm sorry. Everyone's a uh, pe- few people look at me. I'm fine. Just I'm fine. Just. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> but listening to that. <clears throat> I'm really sending that. And, and then Coleman giggling. And then it showed up on there. Jesus. <laughs> it's quite a Quite a chain of events. Well, it's partly because Mutt said it, too. <laughs> uh, well, I've right, been seeing a lot of social media buzz on this trade. I don't know. It's nuts. It's, it's nuts. Justin it's is nuts. Justin is not handling it. Justin cares more about it than I do. Yeah. I think it's the right move, Justin. I do, I do too. I do, too. But I mean, just, I, hate leaving, I hate leaving Hank. And, uh, you know, I have warm feelings about Rico overall. So. It'd be great if this move happened and Justin quit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't work for you anymore. <laughs> You're not who I thought you were. I think the Meta fans are gonna I think the Meta fans like the Rico Kirk thing, obviously. Sure. So that being gone, like uh, it could Titus and Kedjack are nice guys, but they have no relationship with the Meta fans. But who knows where this could be six months from now, right? Can I say that I hope Rico has fun with it now that you guys are rivals. No? You think he's gonna go after me? I, I'm just like he, in those videos he's he's very tense. I, that's also Bitish though, I think with him too, where he's doing this because he I, grabbed the bottle like he was a throw at one point. I, that's what yeah. I'm, I don't think he, I don't think he is I, or should go I'm after. I'm telling Rico, him, just let, let it go. I'm fine. I, do whatever you want. I'm saying in the matches he shouldn't be like oh, whatever. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I'd like to see a little Rico personality. 
Yeah, and I'm saying like Dorico, I am open to trying to repair this relationship. Uh, as long as he doesn't try and get me fired. Or my teammates. <laughs> um, and, you know, he has to reach out to me. Reach out to the skip, Rico. Yeah, that's all. Kick up a little bit. The other thing is, I think Jersey Jerry's been breaking a lot of these trivia stories. But I think Jeff was going to send it to him, but I think he said Jerry was still asleep. So, <laughs> much like Adam Schefter. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, it's, it's, still, it's still early in the central time zone. So. <clears throat> we'll find out when Adam Schefter wakes up. <laughs> right. Uh, what else, Justin? I uh, got some radio news. Uh, Will Fleming might be leaving the uh, Red Sox. I sources telling me he's going to take a TV job in Chicago. Yes. Is that right? Uh, he's a he's one of three finalists for the White Sox. That's why oh. I put that job up. They had the play by play job. Yes. Red Sox. Yeah, yeah. Who are the other finalists? What are the big names? You know, for the White Sox. Yeah. Uh, I'm asking you, Mike. I don't think you would. Know. Connor, Mc, <laughs> Connor McKnight, ESPN wow. 1000s. Connor McKnight, wow. ESPN's John Schifrin. Oof, those oh, are big man. names. Who, I mean, I wouldn't even know which one to pick. Does Wait, it matter he, at all that Joe Castiglione is Will Fleming's son's godfather? Is my is that <laughs> I think that's be? the most important thing. I think so. In anything, yeah. But Will Fleming left his job to be a candidate for another job? No, I'm sure he's... No, I think they probably did that. Fleming is still an Odyssey employee. Right, you have to do it to be protective. to interview for yeah. his TV position while he continues to... Because gotcha. they go from radio to TV is enough. Financial oh, upgrade. for sure. Yeah, but yeah. it seems premature to just quit. <laughs> well, I'm, sure that's what that, I'm sure they had to put the job out there just in case, right? Yeah, it's yeah, February yeah. now, almost, baseball-wise. Like, I would pe- think people probably already going where they're going, I think. Who's going to get the Red Sox job? <sighs> Mutt is not applying. It's <sighs> disappointing. What are you laughing at? Mutt, the idea of Mutt doing it. Mutt could definitely do it. Well, why couldn't... Why does radio always feel like they have to do... Like, baseball radio, I mean, why do they do two play-by-play guys? The Yankees don't. But no, I don't know. Much everyone else does. <clears throat> they think it's like some conversation, which it's not. I don't know. I, I mean, it's yeah. Wouldn't it be I, more of a conversation if like fucking Merloni was in there with them or someone? Oh, totally. I, yeah, yeah I, they, they, they're stupid. I don't know. Well, I mean, some, some, no, some, some do have foreign players as analysts. But yeah, I, I don't know. On the radio though, <clears throat> yeah, it's some, pre- it, it, pretty rare. It's pretty rare. I think. They're gonna hire some guy who makes no money from like some small market, guaranteed. Yeah. He's gonna stink and whatever. That's just what it's gonna be. The next Will Fleming. The next Will. That's that's a hell of a burden. Yeah. Hell How long burden. has he been with the station? How long do I know? I don't know. Three, four years? I don't think he was there when I was there, oh, I don't so think. It's not like a legacy thing. No, no, no. No. <clears throat> no, no, no. His brother is an announcer too. I know a little older, but yeah. Since Jerry Truppiano, I don't think anyone's been there that long with Castiglione. <sighs> right, O'Brien went to TV, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's probably there for like four or five years, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably. Dale about was it. there for a few years, but only did like one game a yeah, week. Yeah, they they've been doing this handoff thing for a while, right? Yeah. That's right, Dale, yeah. Tim Neverett. <clears throat> Somebody tweeted me something. Dale tweeted, but Dale blocked me, so I don't know what the hell he tweeted, so I have no idea. No. I don't know. What else? Uh, Mark Dondero is apparently joining 98.5. Who? Mark Dondero. Oh, remember the guy that he did an impression of you? Oh, yes, yes, I like him. He's a nice guy. He oh, good for him. Now it's two hours ago. He said personal news, and he said, I'm joining at night. Yeah, but what's he doing? In what, like doing weekends or something? No idea. I mean, no. there's a video, but it's just like a... I think I'm all set. Well, that's very exciting news. Wow. Thanks, boys. You have no, you have nothing left, Justin. You're saying nope. Okay, that's you, you, that's big. That's big. <laughs> it's small. <laughs> it's some Mark Dondero going to. I you mean, know, I mean, you know him at least. Uh, but, but he's not getting like a like a day part, right? Nope, no clue. Yeah, I mean, I, what's he? A fucking Felger and Dondero? I think we would know touch this. it, touch it, and Dondero. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I've not heard one second of that new show. By the way, I. Not one. You know what's funny? I said that not. I forgot Hardy replaced Rich. I, I forgot they made an announcement. Yeah, right. I forget. Like it's like it never happened, right? Yeah. I have the uh, Dale post that was probably. Oh, what was it? At what point did all the porn bots on at X get replaced by people just beating the ever loving crap out of each other? Just wondering. Yeah. He, he misses porn? the porn. Where's the porn? Yeah. That's yeah. Dale. That's right. a good question, Dale. I will say there is a tremendous. It does feel like since my, there just feels more bottage. Oh, oh yeah, I get a ton of um, probably just because I follow like crypto accounts. Yeah, I get a lot of people uh, that want me to accept deals from them. Yeah, it's right. Weird. Right. Yeah. I think it could be a good opportunity. It's kind of an endless thing. I don't yeah. know. What are we doing on Thursday? This rough and rowdy. What, 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 like, what, what time are you guys planning on getting there? I can get there whenever. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think maybe backstage a little bit too. I don't. I I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what I'm. I don't think I'm doing anything, but I'm gonna go see those guys. I think they want me to do some stuff. So I have no idea. Justin Coleman could be. Uh... Ring card girls. That's true. Yeah. 20 big fights or something. Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> so go buy it. Two nights from now. Thir- it's unusual for Thursday night. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's typically Fridays. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. I don't know. It's th- people are, it doesn't matter if Thursday or Friday night, I wouldn't think. Prime time. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I had a good time in West Virginia a few years ago. So I will be there if you're in the uh, in the province here and looking to go. I'll be there. Justin and Coleman as well. 
Uh, what else, Coleman? What's next, Coleman? <laughs> um, I didn't really have too much else. Um, actually, I was curious about um, Mike's take with the Jim Carrey dinner the other night. I didn't see much. I just saw the headline that he had uh, some hilarious friends at his event, but I don't know. Well, much I saw Kimmel was there. Kimmel was there. It was all the people you'd expect. Yeah. Like, uh, Sandler. Sandler, right. Um, Spade. I wasn't invited. Is that what you're asking me? Looks like he has no. Yeah. Looks like he has no normal friends. Looks like they're all famous. They're calling it the laughs. The laugh supper. Oh Jesus! I remember Howie Mandel. I remember kind of thinking that was interesting. Like the first time Stern went to one of Kimmel's parties, right? And like came back and recapped it. Basically, I remember finding it on YouTube and thinking like, "Oh, this is pretty interesting." And then they they did it every year for a little while. And I was like, "Oh, who gives it?" Like you're just saying, "Hey, fucking Rickles was there." Yeah, like, you know? was, like Jim Carrey even like funny anymore? No, I mean. Well, like, when he's talking comedy, like he did an interview with Norm, it was really good. Like uh, he was in the Comedy Store documentary. When he's talking comedy, he becomes a normal human being. Right. Yeah. But, he's not but then British. when he gets very intellectual and philosophical, it gets nauseating. I mean, the weird take on the Will Smith slap. Remember, he was like lost his mind. Yeah. He was talking like Gail King or something. He was like, <laughs> yeah. it was like it was like you know I I forget. I'm sure he's defending Rock. I'm sure he's friends with, but. I don't know where Jim... If you, you haven't done any Jim Carrey on your show, have you, or have you? I thought about doing it soon, but no, I haven't yet. I don't even know what to... I don't even know what to do with him. Didn't he retire, too? Yeah. Like, I thought he retired from acting. I only talked about him a little with, uh, in the Andy Kaufman episode. Right, sure, but I, I don't know where to put him. I don't... Like, I'm not a particularly big, particularly big fan, so... Chappelle has a funny bit to open his new special that Norm introduced him to... He's a, Norm knew he was a huge Jim Carrey fan. Yeah. And he introduced him to Jim Carrey. And then, unfortunately, it happened to be while Jim was filming Man oh, on the Moon. God. And Chappelle had to pretend. Oh, yeah. He was Andy Kaufman. <laughs> he was Andy Kaufman. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the most annoying documentary ever made. Yeah, yeah. that was uh, bad. Because that's I, the thing I found is a lot of the um, like old uh, taxi, ca- uh, who was yeah. Mary Lou Henner, yeah. in the, they were like, Andy wasn't like no, that wasn't like all that. the time. Like kind of weird. Sometimes, sometimes he could be, but. Right. And it's like, he's fine in the movie, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. Oscar nominations were, t- were today, Mike. Okay. <clears throat> Oppenheimer, big winner, 13 nominations, no surprise. Uh, was it nominated for visual effects? Yes, it was. What the hell shot, was that? Too? A shot in Nate. <laughs> what the hell was going on? Nate, I apologize. Who, 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 I mean, who, who, would, who would have ever guessed? Someone pulled the wool over my eyes. DiCaprio, not nominated for Killers of the Flower Moon. Really? It was kind of a surprise. And uh, uh, Greta Gerwig, not nominated for director. And Margot Robbie is not nominated for best actress. So, oh I know, tough. It's going to be a tough day for the women out there. It's not right. Have you seen all these movies? Well, get, listen to me. The Best Picture nominations? American Fiction. No. Anatomy of a Fall. Yes. Barbie. Yes. The Holdovers. Yes. Killers of the Flower Moon. Yes. Oh, this is a tough word. Maestro. Maestro. What do you think? Should be, Coleman, don't do that. So learn a lesson. When somebody's going to say something stupid, let them say something stupid. Right. Uh, what did you think it was going to be? Maestro? Mastro. Okay. Uh, Oppenheimer. I saw Oppenheimer. Past Lives. I saw Past Lives. Very good. Poor Things. I've not seen Poor Things. It's not Poor Things. Just the, the, the Emma Stone movie I did see. I'm sorry. The Zone of Interest. I've not seen that. It's not available to be seen yet. It's supposed to be really good. It's not available to be around, seen? And around here. Nominated. Well, it's, I mean, you can see like New York and L.A. and oh, stuff oh, like oh, that. Oh, yeah. oh. It's not, it's not, I don't think it's in I shouldn't say that. I so seen all but it. two you've seen? I think so. What about... Let's see. Go, let, go ahead. Nayad? Nayad. That's, Nayad. that's Diana Nayad, the swimmer. Uh, it's on Netflix. So that's interesting. actually interesting you brought that up, Justin. So she's a woman who claims she's sw- swum across the English Channel and all this stuff. But a lot of people, a great many people, think it's bullshit. Like, there's a guy dedicated <laughs> to it. Like, the Times just don't... It's like a Colin thing. Like, the Times don't yeah, add yeah. up. It's, uh, the guy, I forget the guy's site. It's actually really interesting. I was thinking about I like that. talking to him. I like those more than inspirational Way stories. Way more. Yeah. <laughs> so she was nominated. Nat Benning played her, and Jodie Foster was nominated, too. The movie's a fucking drip. Drip, drip, drippy drip. Did you say sure. De Niro was or was not nominated? Was nominated. Was nominated. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. DiCaprio, no. De Niro, yes. He's not going to win. Danny DiCaprio should have been, too. There's a website called uh, NiadFactCheck.com. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. 51 Fabrications. Yeah. It's yeah. It's because. really interesting. It's really interesting. Yeah, you should, it's worth looking at. Uh, but she was nominated in that bending for that. It was terrible. Fucking. It's exactly what you'd think. It's a boring movie. But, like, you know, I, it's going to be one of these years. There are certain years where it's like, don't be stupid. Like, when a great movie, a great filmmaker makes a great movie and the audience goes to see it and everyone likes it, just give it fucking the Oscars. Like, this should be Oppenheimer's year. Right. Like, don't get cute. Don't be stupid. Like, don't do the wrong thing. Or Barbie. Barbie's not for Best Picture, but not Best Director. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, Margot Robbie wasn't nominated. Clearly, it's not, you know. Gosling was nominated. Good. Was he Gar- was very good. Was hmm? Guardians nominated for anything? 
maybe a like a visual, but no, not for like. That's that's. Fine. What would be your not best picture nominees this year, Justin? I feel like bad. Oh, it would be it, uh, best visual effects. Okay, there you go. I thought I saw that. Yeah, it would be Guardians Three, mm-hmm. Spider Man Two. No, that was you didn't like that. It was good. It was good. I just I just Oppenheimer. Um, Oppenheimer would be up there. Wow. Okay. Um, Barbie. No. Was the new Transformers movie this year? Hmm. I don't know that. I don't... Yes, it was. It didn't do very well. It was. It was. I had a great time. Watching. Good. Okay. Well, that's all I'm <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. So there's three. Killers, yeah. of the, Killers of the Flower Moon. Four. There you go. Interesting group. Okay. Everyone's talking about Saltburn. I haven't seen it, but apparently it's... Well, you might want to see it first. Yeah, like eh, throw it on the list. Before you nominate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you see any other movies this year? I have... Uh, oh, Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom, okay, yeah. <laughs> was it this year? That was this year. This summer, well, I mean, oh. not last year. Pass <laughs> the Eras Tour. The Air- oh, sure, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Did not get nominated, For Best Picture. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Hunger Games is very good. Okay. New Hunger Games. Yep. Hmm. It's like 10 movies at this point. Well, they, yeah, well, they nominated. Two minutes ago, Jersey Jerry just tweeted out, trade in a dozen trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Smock and his sense two minutes. He won victory to Team Minahan for three-time MVP Kirkman. He's like part a, of the trade, I've agreed. It's a little late to the game. He's like a, an Andrew Callahan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. I will, here you go, Mike. I will quote to we can't confirm. Guardians Please. would win. We win your best picture, yes. best film you saw last yes. year. If I had a Justin's award. I'd like to see. I'd like to watch Justin's award. Just, you're gonna do that this the year Justin for us. Yeah, you're gonna do that this oh, year. On don't get away. Do do a Forest Oscar night on the network. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! On like, the network. On our our okay. network, yeah, or on Rumble, whichever one you rather do. Will the network? Sound of Freedom will have to get some nominations or on Rumble. Of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Will the network be moving to Rumble? Oh, simulcast. Are you saying this our channel or, or, no. or Menner's channel? No, Menner's channel. Well, not Menner's channel, but where Menner's yes, is the, the tiny CEO. It'd be great if Menner's He's episodes. He's a big liberal. Get, I don't know if Menner's it episodes explodes. get sixty thousand views. <laughs> I'd be fine with that. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know that. Uh, you have to. I mean, we'll have to talk to the CEO. I mean, I, we have to, he's a he's a big liberal guy. I think I don't know how he'd handle that. We'll see. I think Glenn Howerton should have been nominated for Blackberry. He was very good. In that. He was good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It was a. Uh, I thought Gosling was good. Did Downey Jr. was good. De Niro was good. Like I think those are. That's a good year for nominees for sure. Yeah. 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 So all right. Oh, John Wick. John Wick Four would be up there too. John Wick Four would be up there. <laughs> okay. Five Nights at Freddy's is like. Well, don't cheating. give it all away. Well, it's going to be multiple categories. It's just Not Megan? Good. No. Uh, I never saw Megan. Cocaine Bear? No. No. Never saw Cocaine Bear. Okay. Megan was last year, no? I mean, yeah. Or 2020. Oh, Super Mario Brothers? That would definitely be up there. Uh, Megan was a year ago, 2023. Was it? Yeah. I thought yeah. it was in like the uh, the <clears throat> fall of uh, 22. No, no, no. It was uh, winter of 2023. Gotcha. And Netflix just made a big deal today. What's that? Uh, they made a deal for WWE. Really? Sorry, twenty. Sorry, next year. In what five billion dollars? Everything capacity. Raw. They just have all the old libraries. Like, really? Like, yeah, like the Peacock deal. Five billion, five hundred million a year for ten years. Wow, that's big for them. No way. I think, right? I, I think one of the biggest deals of all time. Like that's a live weekly. That just happened. Uh, this morning, yeah. Wow. A live. That's a live weekly production for Netflix. Yeah. With like twenty-five, sometimes fifty thousand. These are pay-per-views. Sometimes a hundred thousand people. Oh, good for them. No, I, I'm, I'm sure WWE does it all right. They outsource. They they handle all that stuff. But still means they're probably getting rid of the, the reason they didn't want i guess they do the subscription service now too the tier where you can have commercials but yeah. the reason they didn't want sports forever was like well, we don't do commercials right and i was like well that's still, people will you know that doesn't mean right. you have to put it in the middle of fucking uh black mirror or something right it is wild though that they five billion you know like fucking uh, disney bought freaking lucasfilm for four billion over how many years 10 500 million a year wow it's not bad no, I think in today's world, it's probably a good, given the, that's an audience will definitely, if they don't subscribe, they will subscribe. Yeah. And they still own it too. WWE? Yeah. Yeah, they're lead, yeah right. It's at least, it's the, they've always done that, whether it's Peacock or Fox or US. Good for Vince and the gang. Well, Vince has sold oh, the company. Yeah. He has nothing to do with it now? I mean, I think he's still like his whatever, but yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, Dana White's company owns it, right? Oh, that's yes. right. Endeavor. Endeavor yeah. owns it. So yeah, yeah, 500 yeah. million for te- Netflix starting in 2025. So this is the last year of. Uh, Wherever they are now. So, yeah. What's that, Justin? Can I include video games in the Justins? Sure. No? Okay. Yeah, but don't, don't give away any winners now. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Definitely. So I want best actor, best actor, yeah, support. We'll all, whole... You know what special Justins as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There has to be a best performance by a child in the film. There does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there does. <laughs> that's not a... That's not a... Well, that's what I'm saying. It's to be quirky category. I'm just throwing a random quirky category. Random quirky category. That's, right? it, that's interesting. The best... Ki- you know, the stars of tomorrow. Yes. 
Yeah, that's what Justin said. You're going to be a star tomorrow. <laughs> You're seeing stars in about 30 seconds. <laughs> Corey Haim. Just, just, just count backwards. Just count backwards. I, uh, this, is, this is blood a little bit into my... Uh, to my sure has. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Into uh, my, my... Now that I'm back with the show, my, my dad says he's going to listen. And I was like, just so you know, there, there are some things. He's like, oh, I know, I know. I go, no, one of the things on the show is that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pedophile. <laughs> And he goes, uh, and, he, he, was like, oh, <laughs> and he was like, uh, he's like, oh yeah, I know this. So anyway, so oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. It's fine. The, the, uh, I was hired on a Friday that Saturday between when the video came out and when I was hired, uh-huh. I went to uh, Foxwoods with my, uh, with my family yeah. to go play bingo. Sure. And there happened to be a, a, like a cheerleading event going on. Oh wow. And, uh, I'm walking down with my dad. He's like, Justin. I, like, I will fucking murder him. his own home. <laughs> High school cheerleaders? No, they were young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I don't need to fucking hear this from you. <laughs> I find that very funny though. That his dad was like, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> <just> fucking hilarious. <laughs> He's got a sense of humor, Justin. That's good. How did the bingo go? Uh, my grandmother won. Foxwood nice. seems like a hell of a drive for bingo. Like, oh, sure. Mike, you would love. It's a huge bingo hall. The Is that prizes right? are thousands of dollars. It's, oh, it's, okay. It's a blast. And now that you know it's a huge bingo hall, does that change your perspective on it? Uh, for me, it's actually much worse. Right. <laughs> I was going to say, it sounds awful. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if Mike could do it. Yeah. F- you just said he'd love it. Well, he, he could just tag along. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I just love the experience. <laughs> I guess that's not, it's about the hang. That's not super far from where you it's are. Like is an it? It's going to be an hour and a half, half. two-hour drive. Oh. That's fine. I've driven more for less. Well, there's no, okay. But there's no, <laughs> is it, what you would call it, close to that casino or no? Twin River? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they don't have bingo. The They're bingo less. The closest bingo hall is Foxwoods. I've uh, driven more for less should be the name of Justin's series from the road. I think it's more than, I, I, see, I was about to say, I like the closest bingo hall is Foxwoods. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a statement of his life. Well, like, there's, there's like a church in Norton that does it, but the prize. Do you go to that or no? Uh, we used to. <laughs> they ship prizes. Well, it's just, it's a church in Norton. And then like you're supp- you're like supposed if you win you're supposed to be like and I'm giving half. giving it back to <laughs> her. Uh, fuck that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck Can you. I give you a, a show intro I just thought of? Sure. It's someone on the phone with Justin saying like yeah the the consent laws it's 15 years old but it's a hell of a drive <laughs> and Justin saying I've driven more for <laughs> less brother. <laughs> J Rock. <laughs> <laughs> so who goes you your mom your dad and your grandmother? Uh, me my mom my dad my grandmother my aunt. What a crew! That's oh, it's great. Pussy posse. Not really, but <laughs> no. Oh, okay, who knows? So you play bingo. That's all you do, Fox. You go, you play bingo, and you leave. We play bingo. Uh, they like to play the slots. I hate slots. Do you play blackjack? Any card games or no? Um, I, I normally play blackjack, but if I'm playing, I'm not playing with my family. Well, I'm saying if they're going to play slots, you know, run over and no. You guys grab something to eat there, or you just it's all uh, business? Yeah, no, no, no. We we eat. Yeah. Okay. I like the Reservoir Dogs poster with that crew. <laughs> <one. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Abbey Road. <laughs> How, okay. Well, uh, who's who's the best player? At bingo? Yeah. I, I was it random? I, I'm not a big bingo player. I mean, I know what it is. Really, but... It's either you got it or you don't. Yeah, sure. Uh, probably my mom. Okay. Well, is there a skill to bingo? I can't imagine. Well, sometimes they. When you when they do quickies, you gotta they, they call them fast. And they oh. don't say the letter, so you gotta really know your stuff. Interesting. Mm-hmm. But like 23, 16. How do you know? 14. I don't understand. How do you 71. know? Seventy-one. Because those numbers 58. would only be within that 12. letter row. Thirty-six. You know why Justin says twelve? He says it with way much, no. much more passion <laughs> than seventy-one. Say thirty-six. Because twelve has brought me. Four. I think of. <laughs> I think of Brady. Huh? I think when I think of twelve, I think of Brady. That's her name. He's, he's brought me a lot of joy in my life. Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good for you. Guys. We have a mincy reaction as well now, Coleman. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. What the reactions are pouring in today? Well, I mean, it's a this is a you know, Mike, you're poo pooing because you're busy in your little comedy world. But this is a, in our <laughs> world, poo- in our world, this amazing. Poo- would you say that Justin or no? Is he poo pooing? It's the strip? huge. And yeah, Mike doesn't you. give a shit. And Mike's like, oh, we're moving Tuesday to Wednesday. I'm supposed to care about that. Like, sorry, it's like the whole world's revolved on Tuesday. <laughs> I thought it would get more of a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get, I mean, you get, you get this fucking producer walking you around on a leash. You're Mike Geary. This is a Buy Mike product. Buy Mike.net. You tell yes. him you. you oh, tell, oh, with Craig. Yeah, you yeah. tell him it's a fucking Tuesday. I'm lenient. Or get or get what get the crazy guy on there. I'm lenient. My guy. My What's his name? Well, Backride. That's Backride. The, yeah. I will say the problem. Like so, sure Ju- Gus isn't doing anything. Justin filled in Good for point. Craig once on Quincy. Right. The problem is, if you haven't watched every Quincy, you kind of lose. Sure. You're not as invested. Yeah. In yeah you want to introduce it to everybody. Well, it's season six for God's that's sake. That's what I mean. Yeah, got, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I can understand that. I can yeah. understand that really solid philosophy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go that's fine. Go ahead, Quincy. Who I like. A playoff game and then tells me. I basically pulled the Tyler Bass in the regular season game when I blew the dozen trivia match last night and traded me for That's Kirk a kicker, Manahan. is that right? Got to say, I was surprised I got traded because 
you know, Smokin and Ken Jack and Titus made a big deal about taking the good with the bad with me. They knew what they were signing up for, and they just bail at the first sign of trouble. Seems kind of seems kind of weak. I am a former dozen champion. However, it is a business, and they got Kirk Minahan, who's the top five player in the league. And so, you know, if you look at the scoring and analytics, you can understand why they make that move. So, you know, I don't know what the hell the future lies, but, uh, you know, I, I, I definitely thought I was going to be around Team Smokin longer than three or four matches, but... You know, it's a cold world out there. It's certainly only getting colder in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> wow. Unreal. What, it, what is smocking? I don't know. What is that? Do we know? I Isn't their logo like the mask? Like oh, is smocking. It? Oh. Like Jim Carrey. That's troubling. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. That's it's, it's their thing. Is that a phrase from that movie? Well, he does like the smoking. We know that, but okay. yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's their spin on it. Huh. I don't know. Breaking news, Julie just texted the group chat and said, Mike is looking slim today. So, congratulations, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Sad. <laughs> well, you see me with Lauren Compton, you get a little jealous. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah, it, it's the mask. So I'm glad she's busy working on uh, the Portland show. Just, uh, Touching herself right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> God almighty. Shit together, stupid. <sighs> Uh, anyways, what hey, else? Free on, it's, there's no Quincy today, so. Why don't you go on a date with her? So there's something to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Well. Jesus. I mean, it's been, it's, I think it's been too long for these. That's what I'm saying. You need to go on a date. All right. Okay. We'll set you up. Thanks. Okay. I'm sure this will Go with Joe. You can thank her after. <laughs> when do you think this will be? We have any, uh, if we reach out to Lauren Compton on a potential date, you guys can book this for Mike. He's I a imagine it will be a ways in advance, probably. You know, he's looking to rush it? <laughs> I don't think so. Hmm. So look. She did seem a little distant about it, but it's like, what are you here for then? A little bit, yeah. yeah. She's probably hard to get, though. You know how that is. Sure. Yeah, I can understand that. A thousand times. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I know it all too well. Yeah. What else, Coleman? Um, not much else. Does that mean nothing else? Yeah, not really. Well, it's what's the road? No. <laughs> what's that? So just say no if you have nothing. Well, I mean, I, I have stuff that's just Did you just know, like, yeah, my sister's a little tension in your mic or no? A little bit. But Justin's like that. Justin can be like that. I don't think he means it. I don't think it's. I don't think it's directed at Coleman. Yeah, no. The founder and CEO of the company is, uh, or no, I guess Dave's not the CEO, is he? The what is he now? Just the, the founder and owner. He is the president. Is talking to Rico Bosco. It's just got tweeted about the trade, so we can play that as well. So there's so much news about this trade, Mike. Yeah. Where's this tweeted? I just sent it to you guys. You guys are fucking setting your hands on your ass. I'm fucking producing for you. <laughs> You right. meant to hang. So you were with Kirk. Yeah. He traded you. Yeah, defend the champs. Why? He traded himself. We're still team in. And who's he with? Uh, Ken Jack and Titus. Straight up. Because that meant to error the other day? I guess, yeah, they were with the trade. Crazy. I should just go back in the panel and Zidi. Go back in what? To the panel with Zidi. Back to the pen, team. I think, with ZD. What's that? That was his original team. ZD. Oh, was, yeah, Dave's, Dave's team. Gotcha. Also, they're also the number one ranked team right now. So I doubt Dave's team. To, I doubt they're yeah. trying to shake things. Up. I would move, think probably yeah. not. No, I, I looked. I guess I looked at every team. I looked at every team. That, this is the only fit. So and I will say this has sent shockwaves through this league. Did you think of trying to align yourself with Portnoy, Big Cats, a big name like that, or did you only think? I thought about. Yeah, but it just didn't make sense. Like I, I, I thought about trading me for say Dan. Right. And play oh, wow. with my friend Stephen Che and with Roan. That would have been interesting. Uh, yeah. And having Dan run Team Minahan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, that would be funny. I think that would have been good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'm part. I mean, Titus is on the yak. He's, I'm part of the Windy City Mafia now. Right. Like, lines are in the sand. I yeah. think in some ways you always have been. Well, I'm friends with a lot of those guys, including Hank Lockwood, who, you know, I, I, I hate to disappoint. But look, Hank's going to wake up. You know, I know he's dating AI people and, and doing bits <laughs> where he pretends he hurts his knee. But this is real life. Sure. You know, this is this is real life. I think if you were in between Chicago, Illinois, I'm Chicago and uh, New York, and they were both each calling your name, I think you're going Chicago. Well, yeah, just because I like the area better, honestly. Well, I just mean as far as people. <clears throat> it's Kevin and Clemmer versus... Well, I like people in New York. They're like, I mean, I like Pat. I like Trent. Like, there are people I like in New sure. York. I like... Uh, but I, like I feel like there's a lot more in Chicago. You see uh, yeah. John Rich weighed in, too. What do you say? Team Minahan got fleeced. Mm. Wow. Mm. Bold take as always. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess. I mean, I knew it would be a controversial trade. I'm sure some people think it's not fair. Yeah. Me and Mincy Strap is not a fair trade. People think I, I don't that. agree. I think it's too. Mitch just won the title. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I don't. 
and we were docked a win, and they were given a win, which is which is valuable. I know Jeff poo pooed that, but there is value to it. We'll see going forward. I imagine we'll have our first match next week. And look, there could be growing pains. This is not. This is a long. We do this all the way through June, so it's a marathon. Know, long, long way to go. There's a long way to go. The stool scenes guys are very busy today. They're all over the place. Are they? It seems like. Oh they're yeah, the Rico. <laughs> I yeah, guess it's two true. different uh, offices, but yes, yeah. I, I I don't think you know. I thought there'd be more criticism of me saying, "Hey, like you, you can't do it yourself." But I, but the problem is, I've already done it myself. Sure. So how do you criticize? Yeah, they, you know, right. It's like, uh, like I've done that. So like, I, and now I'm trying to do something. You else. won with Cleveland. Now you're going to the Heat. That's what I. It's mean. an anti-LeBron. You know. Right. Right. Even intern Nick is tweeting about it. I just saw. Well, it. <laughs> that's that. Now it's official. Yes. Which reminds me, Justin was um, very Josh. zeroed in on this the other day. Mm-hmm. Uh, Josh was tweeting his KMS parlay the other day. You he was. That? Yeah. Really? Right, Justin? Yeah, he was like tagging that, is the it, show. Is it for the more traditional meaning of KMS or no? <laughs> if he loses, something happens? Oh, oh maybe. Yeah. <laughs> He's got some he, belt around his yeah, neck. Yes, he risk kicks. <laughs> that, that's interesting to me. That I'd makes more that. sense, yeah. Uh, he can. Uh, I'm fine with him using that. Well, I, I'm not even talking about him using it. Just, I think Justin's point was more like, does he? How has he ever watched the show? He said, lock of the day. Hashtag lock at Kirkman at Kirkman show. Hashtag Delaware. I didn't retweet that. I haven't missed that one. (laughs) And it's just three bets. With him, I'm Mm -hmm. fascinated. Like, how did he find out that you were looking for a producer? (laughs) You know? Was he walking down the street? (laughs) Heard it like out the window? Was somebody yelling? Just calling and screaming? Was he here for Colonnade or no? Yeah. He's Colonnade. Well, I mean, what do you mean? What are you asking? Like he when, interviewed for the job during the producer search. Oh right, that's how he started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was the. Uh, now, how did he find the out? grocery? I, uh, no, or no, the pizza guy. When the pizza guy left, that was guy. yes, that was Josh. Yeah, stepping Joe the pizza in. guy. Joe the pizza guy. And Josh. No, I know that. But, but to Mike's point, how the fuck did he know about it? <laughs> I don't know I because he, just, he, he, he had he, must he, have impl- a, he, he must applied have a day one. He sent his application. He must have. A friend he had like an uncle that was a fan of the show. And I think I oh, yes. right yeah. Yeah. from his top ten list. Top yeah. 10 list right? yeah. Yeah. His uncle, uncle was on it. Joe. Was. Oh, that's right. His uncle was on the top ten. Oh, uh, there, there's our answer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think just like Coleman, he's never listened to an episode from 2020, 20, oh. 21, 22, <laughs> or twenty three. I, I don't think. Right. I got twenty three. Where you at, Coleman? Uh, let me check. Justin mocking him. It's fine. So you no, guys, I did a so good. You, it seems like you guys were in New York. I don't think it's. I, I, I don't. I don't think. Like, <laughs> no, it's I mean, after that. No. I actually, don't even think it's necessary for. I don't think so. No, but I no, promise. I, I want to deliver on that. I promise. actually think what he should have done from the beginning was maybe listen to certain episodes, like the best ofs. Probably right. would have been a good idea. I, actually, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> um, the one I'm on now. Wait, hold on. I just got chills, Justin. Go to the Dozen Trivia Twitter account. I literally just got, I got, Mike doesn't see this. I got chills. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see it. Oh, wow. It's a picture of me in the <laughs> smocking shirt. Wow. And Mincy and the team in the hand. I shirt. always liked that when they would do like A Rod with a Red Sox hat. Yeah, or, that's what you I know? mean. There was years ago the Bird and Ma- uh, Magic story in Sports Illustrated. What if they swapped teams? Wow. And they each had, I remember as a kid reading that in SI Oof. and thinking, I remember went downstairs with my dad's like, look at the story of my dad's like, that's great, Kirk, but you know what? 32 years from now, they're going to put a, they're gonna put a transgender person on the cover of this magazine. And go out of business. And then he just walked away. What does he know? <laughs> I thought, well, fuck you, Dad. Go out of business. God, that's real now. That's, isn't, that, that, isn't that amazing, Justin? That, that looks nice. You think that so? Is, I always liked I that I, when they I, would do that on Sports Center. I like you in the New Jersey. What is that? Is that, is that AI? You look. Uh, it's probably Photoshop. You look shiny. You think that picture of my face is Photoshop, Coleman? Well, I'm saying how they do that. No, it's oh, through Photoshop. It's, oh, Coleman, you don't, you don't think they didn't do a dress rehearsal with me this morning in that shirt? <laughs> you asked you asked you asked you asked you asked no, 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 what I'm saying is the photograph is not a photograph. You have no. Like, what is that? that? So that's probably AI. That's what I'm saying. I'm not then, about, I know it's fucking Photoshop. Okay, well, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll defend him on that one. You asked how it was done. No, but you know I meant, Justin, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't like they have these it. weird pictures they've done for the dozen. I don't know. They look like you have like Spock ears. Yeah, it's weird. It's frustrating for me because when they list the team, they show the team. They just show the pictures. And I can never tell who's on any of them. That's yeah, it's weird. I believe the team. That's the other thing. Will I not be the prominent guy in the picture now? Like they play this three of us. I, I, I don't. You know, I'm fine being in the background. I think it'll be three. Of you. Yeah, you're on a team. When I put on YouTube, I was thinking, is Kirkman going to be on tonight or is Ken Jack going to be on tonight? <laughs> yeah. That's it. If it's Ken Jack, it's, it's Ken Jack. I don't know whose team it is. Is it Mark's team or is it Ken Jack's team? Probably Ken Jack, right? Because Titus is newer to the company, yeah. isn't he? Who did you negotiate this trade with? Ken Jack. 
Oh, then I would say Kenji. Yeah. But he said he had to talk to Titus. Like, it, it, well, it, I think he he might be. A, you think I would have done that? No. Like, hey, let me call. Let me call Hank. Kenji might have, be a more it's uh, you know all inclusive environment. Uh, we're, we're, we are one, so you might be part of this uh, negotiation. I even want total control or no control. Honestly, mm -hmm. like give me twenty percent control doesn't it makes me crazy. Well, I would say that to Kenji. I'm happy to be a gun. I'm happy to be a gun for hire. Sure. Yeah, that's my role for the next six months. That's great. No pressure, no big decisions. You know, no trade stuff. I could, they could trade me for all I know. Maybe the chemistry won't work. Well, they can't, right? No, no I, I, tra trade I, deadline. Oh, it's a one way. I can't. I a have, one way. Yeah, I think they're a little wired because you know me, Mike. I'm a bit, yeah, of, a, yeah, sure. a bit of a high Loose wire. wire. I yeah, I could, <laughs> I could trade. But, but my point to Ken Jack was, well, I guess Mike in a way, this is interesting. I don't know what you think of this. The fact they put that in as a clause in my trade means they think I have control anyway. Because, like... Oh, yes. Because, oh, like, if I'm not running... I can't trade myself. I don't run the team. Yeah, but the fact that you're thinking like that already makes me worry about this dynamic. No, I'm thinking, thinking more about... Be... I think there's leadership issues. Not on our team, but in the league. Okay. I almost wonder why, why the commissioner even had that language in there. Well, he's, probably... he's almost trying to drum up a little controversy within our team. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, Jeff Delo is about the, the drama of it all rather than running a, a, you know, a true, honest game. I did laugh. He, he told me that joke yesterday, the... Super Bowl commercial thing yesterday. I was, I was laughing. <laughs> he, ran, he ran his bits? Coleman just watching the Super He's Bowl. workshopping his bits <laughs> yeah, with you? That's, that's absurd. That's a good listener. That's a good that's guest. Absurd. That's a smart commissioner. That's just, you know, good, Goodell's not doing that. I like him running bits. But what do you think of this one I have for Justin? <laughs> <laughs> He totally does. Oh, he's a he's, he, well, he's a big Justin guy. Coleman guy is not as big a Coleman. Oh guy. my god! What's well, I will say he he called the other night and to talk about like the Rumble thing happening, yeah. and I just hear the the uh, Emperor's March or what, what's the name of the song in Star Wars? Like the Vader music. Mm -hmm. Emperor's March. I don't know what it's technically Imperial called. March. Imperial March. That's not really that, not really that <laughs> insulting. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was pretty close. You dumb dick. <laughs> John, by the way, John Williams today uh, nominated for an Academy Award, Justin. Really? Yes, for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny score. Uh, okay. Mm. Well, let, let the man have an Oscar. Is, does that get like it or a... does she get it? Who? Well, Kennedy get it if, if, they, if they win? No, it's, a, it's for the score. Did she, okay, did okay. she part of the score? Yes. She part was? Of, yeah, she touches everything. All right, okay. That's, boy, it's not the first time you said that. Justin <laughs> touches people. It's hilarious. It kind of is. Go ahead. Jeff, what? Uh, no, it was just when he called, that music came on, and it, it was at like 10.30 at night. Intense guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so what's the rest of the week look like? Uh, so we have tomorrow is Mutt and Steve. Steve. Yeah. And then Sopranos interview after, uh -huh. and then Thursday Montante confirmed. So I thought about that they couldn't do it. He said he's in now. Eminem wow. boys he told me boys. that he couldn't do it, and then apparently last I don't know. Yeah, the Eminem boys are in on Thursday. Yes, wow. and then we are making our way to the beautiful city of Providence, Rhode Island. Mike, very nice. Oh, can't wait. It's like a lovely week. So it, the way he said that, the Sopranos interview will not be part of tomorrow's show. Well, after the show, I think we'll just drop it separately, or maybe we'll do it. I, I have no idea. We'll Either see way, how it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but Steve has to be part of it. Yes, that's what I, that, I, that's what I, I was worried about. Two, <laughs> I want Steve to have a Sopranos question and a wild card question ready. Or like maybe a... Uh, uh, a, oh, a Sopranos question, Coleman, and a wild card question ready. I'd like him to ask about Italian culture as well. Oh, whatever. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Everything's a play in the wild card. You can ask any food, Ita anything. Anything. Each play. of them or both? No, 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 no. Just, yeah, two questions total. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, I, Sopranos question is going to be, I think, really bad. <laughs> yeah. Because I think the last thing I want to ask them is like specific episode questions. I can see Steve being a guy that calls them. I, well, AJ, let me ask you. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, why, why, yeah, he'll be very upset about the... Uh, <laughs> I also thought, I was actually texting Clemmer about this. If that question I asked Mincy is a level of Sopranos niche questions, I could have it as a category. Say again? The, the Mincy question, the Davies Scavino question. Yeah. Like, I've never used a Sopranos. If that's the level of difficulty for a question for a Sopranos niche, I could definitely oh, yeah. handle that fine. I would think even if hard Sopranos yeah, questions you would get. I them. guess, yeah. But he said that Eric was his son. Remember yeah. the son who, uh, do you remember that season or no? I'm Davies not did great, you watch, did I'm you not watch great with names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Davies Scavino was the names. gambling guy, season two. Okay. They took over the sporting goods store from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And his son was the guy who they. Totally took the car from, basically. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That was Eric's the kid that was in Meadows Grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, singer. Eric does sound familiar. He's the singer from no, the... No, yeah. it wasn't Eric, though, was the it? The son was Eric. Yeah, the dad was Davey. Okay, Yeah, gotcha. that's, that's how he, that's how Mincy messed it up. Gotcha. And led me to Smokin'. Wow. Wow. It's full yeah, circle. I'm it's actually surprised you haven't used Sopranos at some point. Yeah. I know, because for a while... Yeah, a difficult it's... relationship with that yeah. show, which I don't, I mean, I don't even know if they get into it with Meadow and, uh, oh, Jesus, Jamie and... 
and Bob. <laughs> Can you do? Will Jeff say like if you? Ever thought of doing like all the family or cheers? Yeah, or he'd do it. he would do he it. He would do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about doing sassy snacks with them. That'll be. T- what questions would you ask? I, I, I think I, I need a specific episode, like sassy snacks, uh, maybe Q and A episode. Like if you put <laughs> sassy snacks Q and A right now and just move it to a certain part of the episode, like go like ten halfway through. I bet you I could figure out what they're doing. With, she's doing within ten seconds. Hmm. Yeah. Is it, is it just called Q and A? Yes, I think so. I said we were talking about uh, on WATS Thursdays at 6. Sure. We were talking about um, one of the Tourette's girls we follow has tried to get into ASMR. Oh, God. But she's kind of just doing her tics. But I, I said it's got to kind of be like softer, right? Isn't yes. that the whole thing? Yes. Yeah, she wasn't yes. doing that. KSMR. That's right. That's right. ASMR videos. All of my really close friends know, but only one close friend watches. I won't let anyone else know. It's true. Um, Her mom, no. too. Yep. See? Told you. <laughs> yeah. I've never shot them my videos. Right. Um, somebody asked if a stranger ever recognized me in public. No, no they have not. Yeah. <laughs> they have not. What do I do in my spare time? My hobbies. Um, She's painting. I'm a really boring person. Lately, I've not been doing much of anything because of the heat. Yeah, a lot of heat there. However, Yeah, see, wow. thank you. <laughs> Painting final answer. Uncomfortable. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Painting final answer, Jeff. <laughs> ding, yeah. ding, ding. So maybe I should do Sassy Snacks Q&A episode for a niche. At the very least, it'll be a tough one to steal. I <laughs> <laughs> It'd be amazing. We play them and fucking Rico knows it. <laughs> you, fucking you, you, can, you can watch it, though. You can watch it. It's pretty. It's a half hour. You know, you can watch it and you have a good idea. Sure. I think. I don't know. All right, so that's Thursday, and then uh, we're off Friday, and then we're back, I guess, with Mike, obviously. I don't know. I think, I think coming up next few weeks or no? Am I forgetting anything? We have nothing. It's just kind of quiet, oh, which is nice for the yeah. next few weeks after the last few weeks. And we do have to figure out when we're going to go to these random places. That'll be after Portland, but I think we're going to do the Dakota Swing in the summer. And I mentioned Saco the other night, which people seem pretty excited about, too. People like that show. We'll probably do that in the summer. We got, as always, Mike. Many things. Uh, oh, yeah. On the horizon. Coming up on the horizon. Yeah, I actually have a good, an interesting idea for maybe a month or two from now as well, which I'm not going to give away. I think people will, it will, people will figure it out as the week goes along. When, Small when it's happening. Uh, Small show? No, no, no uh, within this show. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah see if we can pull it off. Um, all right. Uh, uh, so we're back tomorrow morning at 930 with Stephen Mutt? Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> I think it sounds like a fun day. We'll see. Call Mutt right now because Mutt said that he might. He said Carter has been a little sick the last few days. He's not sure about tomorrow. Oh, no. He feels good about it, but he said call off the show. We'll call him now. Feels good about it. He feels like he was better yesterday. He'll be better today. You know, oh, you know. oh, oh, oh. Kind of nice when the kids are sick, much just there, you know? True. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello? Hello. What's going on? Oh, gee. What's up? What's up? Right, you're live to tape. You said for me to call you after the show, but I figured you were during the show. Are I'm you... sorry. Does he answer the phone like that when Coleman calls you sound me? Like, <laughs> it, sounds, it, sounds, it sounds sexual. Oh, hello. hello. Yeah, wh- wh- why do you sound like that? <laughs> I was, I'm, in the, I'm in the kitchen. I apologize. Imagine if it was, imagine you're right though. Imagine if he was like, hey, we fucking tonight or <laughs> Hey, is that an asshole gone? <laughs> I don't think I'll ever come that hard again. Uh, what is your status? Everyone wants to know your status for tomorrow with Steve. Oh, I'm sure they're they're super excited. Uh, I hope to be there. I think my son is back to school uh, tomorrow. I'm feeling okay, so. You're feeling uh, okay. What do you mean you're okay? Okay. You're, you're, well, I was, I, I've been down the last couple of days. We got a little bit. So, uh, the, the coughing dude's going around. Okay. Getting a, what percentage would you I, give the, the audience wants to know what percentage would you say tomorrow? Ninety-six percent. If I wake wow. up coughing, I do not want to be anywhere near you when I'm sick because you will yeah. you'll be in a solid loop for me. I don't want that. So I I'd say ninety six percent I will be there tomorrow with Steve. All right, I'll give you a call later on. Goodbye. Right. It's exciting. It's too bad. It's a day of breaking news. It is. All over the place. Let's not coughing. 
That's right. <laughs> He's feeling okay. And evidently sleeping with Coleman, which I think is oh, geez. which is big. That, news. that was a creep. That, that, that was wild. Hey, baby. Because hey, then, then when he, he goes, he goes, hey, and then he realizes it was you. He goes, oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what's, what's going on? Something you want to say? I have no idea. Did you get that, Justin, or no? Oh yeah, there was. I got that. Me. That was weird. Oh, the OGs was the weirdest part. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, fuck. <laughs> oh, that guy's here. <laughs> but he gets right in the mutt mode. Yeah. So yeah. yep, yep. I uh, should be feeling better tomorrow. And he gets. He's, Bang. So there you go. So Mud will be here. Steve will be here for an interview tomorrow. Thanks to Lauren Compton for joining us today. By yes, way. thank you. Go subscribe to all our stuff. And uh, let's send Mike out to, uh, let's, let's, let's get Mike out to Texas. Yeah. yeah, let's go. So I'll need to hit 1,000 on Patreon pretty soon right. if I want to go to Austin. Yeah, get, so. get, 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 get. BlindMike.net. <laughs> so, yes, go subscribe, man. Blind Mike Project on YouTube. I don't think Lauren Compton quite understands. Like, I'm not sure about that quote tweet thing she was exactly talking about. She was saying, so she quote tweeted, who's Blind Mike? Right. She would have replied that to the guy, oh, she but she didn't, didn't like get that everyone saw it one way and not gotcha, the other. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're back tomorrow morning at 9.30. We'll see you then. Goodbye.